then what about the individual member of the church who has his own realization? You end up burning him at the stake or drawn and quartered, tortured in boiling oil. Why do you do that to people with divine inspirations? Because they didn't want any competition, just like these God gurus. They didn't want... Ramachandra? Yeah, Maybe no, I, you can change, change you can change time or is it difficult to well, get it a bit? Uh, the, yeah, I mean, Texas is what three hours ahead, so you know we're doing the best uh, we can. I think you know. Um, so we're maybe yeah. well, we're starting. You see, Ram Chidananda is in a different. He, this is early yeah. morning for you, right? I'm I'm okay. It's a morning for me. Yeah. Now it's eight. So. So that's the problem. Uh, but in the United States, uh, I mean, even for me, going till 1230 is a bit on the late side since I'm trying No, to we don't have to go that, that, that long all the time. Yeah, that was a dynamic meeting last night. It was hard to end it. Yeah. <laughs> Why, did you think it went too long? Uh, to the Actually, that person, I forgot his name. We had a long talk on the, not on Zoom, but on Google Talk. And because oh, the this, this boy, Texas? yes, After he had, uh, yes, we had oh, about, really? uh, well, no wonder it was late. <laughs> two, two, uh, two hours, two hours talk. Let me see the name. Really? Well, that yeah. means that according to California time, you were going yeah. as, um, you were going till 2.30 in the morning. California it's time. Andrew. And I got his name is Andrew. So Andrew, he quite yes. fried with his gun, of course, and he's doing it all alone. So there must be a lot of people like that being on their own, trying to do some some spiritual life. Well, I'm flexible, usually. Mm -hmm. And he was and trying so, to suggest reading of Bhagavatam, maybe another program. Yeah, yeah. why not? Or even, yeah. or even here. We can do that sometimes. But right now, let's focus on how to Structure is structure the Krishna consciousness movement as Prabhupada clearly requested it. And mm -hmm. the Bhagavatam is a good thing to do, but we can, if we don't re have the movement structured and create a mass demand for that structure, mm -hmm. um, the Bhagavatam will just be the Bhagavatam. You know, it's, you can do that anytime. You don't need a Zoom meeting to do the Bhagavatam. Hmm? Oh, Chidananda Prabhu. Hari Bol, Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hare Krishna. Krishna. Good to see you. Hare Krishna. What a beautiful Krishna. girl. Beautiful girl. Yes. Beautiful yes. girl. Ramachandra's saintly daughter. Hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. She's very intelligent and she's very spiritually connected. She knows Krishna consciousness inside and out from her heart. And that's good because a child, really, if they're exposed to transcendental reality, they have no reason to doubt it. But when they grow up, then teenager, mm -hmm. tweens, teenagers, saturated with video yeah. games, saturated with Netflix. That's why we need uh, the village, Garbage. the what? Vedic village. That's why we need that. Yes. Well, I talked to, for two hours today with my mm -hmm. former wife, Rupa Manjari, and I gave her the structure uh, by which she can start her program, which I think, mm -hmm. you know, the, the last thing we... In a cow program, the last thing you need is cows. What you start out with, you have to have a structure and a philosophy sure. and, a, and a way of creating it. Then I proposed to her that, um, that she can 
then if she, when she gets to the point of publishing, getting everything out, getting Prabhupada's vision out, then she can start a cow program and then use it as a teaching place. You know, let's have people pay to come and stay there in tents or cottages or whatever on the land and study what it is, how to make the cow the center of human society. Rather than keeping a cow, the cow is keeping us. When I keep a cow, I'm exploiting the cow. End of story. Mm -hmm. You know, if I have cow and I sell the milk, then I'm turning the cow into my personal slave. You give milk, I will sell your milk and it will become my money. And I will buy some food for you to eat and I'll spend it on something else too. That's exploitation. That's not real cow protection. The people that keep a goshala in their backyard, rich men in India and mm -hmm. other places, they keep some cows in the backyard. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And they generally, they don't sell it. They're rich people. They don't sell the milk. They use it. But at the same time, it's the same sort of thing. They're taking the cow's milk. They're keeping the cow and taking the milk. They're not creating the cow's milk as the and the cow's presence and pulling the bull or the ox pulling the ox cart, they're not creating that as the central focus of the society. The central focus of the society. So as a result, the cow again is just being used. Used used nicely, like a pet, like a dog that gives milk. That's nice, you know. But that's not our purpose in keeping cows. The cows yeah. have to be, the, there's seven mothers and the cow is one of them. You wouldn't treat your own mother like that. Keep your mother with a rope around her neck and then she, you, she has to pump out her breasts and then you sell the milk. Your own mother, would you do that? I think it would be very strange idea. Does that make sense? So we need to say that yeah. the mother is the owner, not the servant of the society. Mm. Mother means she is the boss. The cow is the boss, not the human being keeping the cow like a pet or like a slave or like a, uh, you know, cash, cash machine. That I will yeah. feed you, you will get milk, I will sell the milk, and I will make money. So that makes the cow into actually, a slave. Yes? Actually, actually Iskon, both Iskon, Iskon Bangaro, Iskon uh, General GBC, you know what I mean? They've got so much power to raise funds, so much power in one night, in one evening. They raise one million pounds for one Goshala. And just imagine how much, how much money they can collect well, for, for the Goshala. That protection. Yeah, yeah one million yeah, but pounds. What about for, is that Varnash from Dharma? No, it's not. It's just for the Goshala. The and goshala. Uh, imagine if they, if they spend the, the money collect, that can be collected, millions and millions, just to buy land for the cows. Yes. Just imagine that. How Just much... imagine that. But uh, we're reaching a time of global, global crisis. We're reaching a, a time of global crisis. Hmm. The people will be crying. Uh, but instead, Bill, Bill, Ga Bill Gates is buying big chunks of land. For Bill what? Gates. But to starve us, to create famine. Well, there you go. You know? So our, our program, if we take just three or four years to mature our problem, our program, it will come at a time where it can be taught in the community colleges. It can be taught in universities. We can have a sample projects where people can come and study. And if we do it right, they can even get college degrees by studying the cow, cow 
protection program, the Gosh, the Varnashram system. The Varna means four Varnas. You cannot have Varna, Varnashram without four Varnas, four Ashram. That's, it, it, you caught that distinction. Yes, he just has a Goshala. Mm -hmm. oh, Goshala means rich man has a lot of cows. And he uses them. Yeah. He doesn't worship them. He uses them. And the people who handle the cows, ah, they're, 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 sh they're shudras. There's no advancement for the people handling the cows to become vicious. You say, well, they're taking care of a cow, they're a Vaisha. Mm -hmm. That's not true. The Vaisha has to know the art of maintaining the growth of crops, the creation of clothing, the fruit trees, uh, grains, silk, making saris. Yeah. They manage that and the Shudras then mm -hmm. do the work. The sacred shudras. So we have to we have to write down all the the structure that is uh, that will be required for the Varnashram. Yeah. Well that's in it. Detail and, and, when and I talked with Rupa Manjari today, uh, we mm. wrote down five standards to make it work. She wrote them down. Uh, but it's based upon first of all we don't know what we're doing. Just buying a cow doesn't, if I have money and I buy a cow, it doesn't give me knowledge, it just gives me a cow without knowledge of what to do with the cow or how the cow is meant to be situated in the land. If Madhu Pandit were buying acres and acres of land, like several thousand acres of land, of good land with water on it and natural grass growing. If he did that, then we could say, let's make Varnashram Dharma. Let's make Varnashram, meaning Varna, Brahman, Chatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, and mm -hmm. Ashram, Brahmacharis, Sanyasi, Varnaprastha, and householder. Yeah. This, this will take a lot of energy and planification. That will take well, yes. a long, quite some time. But the thing is, before, in, before investing in cows themselves, we need to know what to do. And we won't know what to do until we have accumulated everything Prabhupada said on Varnashram, checked yeah. out what other people have done with cows, and so mm -hmm. far, New Vrindavan, you have said, what was the failure? 4,000 acres or so, hundreds of cows. Why did it fail? And my response was, they didn't have Varnashram. They didn't separate yeah. Brahman, Chatra, Vaishya, Shudra. Mm -hmm. They did the cow you mean, uh, in the center. The New cow was New in the What? New Vrindavan. New Vrindavan. I was there. Yeah, but, but this guy was a cult leader. He, he was a a gangster. So why, why do you think he, he would have any, Wait, any which, good which result? Was the, which gangster? There was Bhakti quite a Bhakti Bhakti Oh, Bhakti him. Bhakti. Yeah. yeah. He, he was, was about a him. leader. He yeah. was a leader. Why, why expect anything good from him? He was just exploiting well, the devotees. Exactly. You know, he so built... You shouldn't the, expect the, anything Prabhupada, from that. Prabhupada Palace of Gold. And he succeeded in making it into a tourist attraction. People would come with tour buses and they'd stop off there as a major tourist place. But, and he had Prabhupada mm. sitting on a throne. It was all gorgeous. Yeah. And Prabhupada sitting on the throne yeah. with a crown on his head, like a king yeah, I know. in a palace. So, and then he stopped, he stopped killing. He stopped killing devotees. <laughs> Oh, the, Kirtananda? Yeah. He stopped or started? He started. He was, killing, he was still killing them all, all along. So the thing is that um, then what happened? So why did he make such a big palace for Prabhupada? Next thing you know, he's sitting on a Vyasa sun in the temple. For himself. With a crown on his head. Hmm. Also. Yeah. So he, he gave was, Prabhupada uh, a crown. Just a cult leader, you know. 
and now I'm the yeah I'm the guru, so I get the crown too. And he doesn't say I get yeah. the crown. He says, no, 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 I'm not worthy of a crown. And the more he says huh. I'm not worthy of the crown, the more his disciples want to give him one. And so finally, he has to succumb to their force of will. Mm. No, Antipa, mm. you must wear this crown. All right, I will mm. wear for you because you exist. <laughs> but that was his plan inside all the time. Never just to glorify Prabhupada, but to get a situation where people glorified him. Ah, Bhakta Andrew, Hare Krishna, it's good to see you. I understand yeah. that you talked with Sri Chidananda, Yuan Prabhu, until like three in the morning, maybe later six in the morning, your time in Texas, right? Say what? Are you Did okay? you hear about the Andrew? I, I think he looks a bit tired. Um, I think you were, we were talking, I think we were your sound is not so good. You could be louder. Afternoon in here. Last night you had a speaker thing, right? You were speaking right into it. You were clear um, as bell. Your sound is not good. Is my sound okay, Ramachandra? Yours is excellent. Okay. At least that is. To me, it's excellent. Hello? Is it okay for you to do Ramachandra, Prabhu? Good. Yes, definitely. I'm muting myself because a lot of my children are playing in the background, so I don't want any interference from the noise. So, that's all. Well, that's how was my time. how was my signal? It's wonderful to hear them, but then it's hard to talk as well. So that's how it goes. How was my signal? You can we can hear very nicely, but no no picture. Okay, I not we, see. Not Mark, yet. Mark, you sound fantastic. Okay, Marco, Fant uh, excellent. Fantastic. Thank you so Mark? much. That's that me. Can we, can we see me. you? Is no, we can't see you. If I is can that figure... Is that Mark? <laughs> Ramachandra, is that Mark talking? That's Mark. Oh, well, can we? Can you, we see you? you? Mark Yacon is a hearing wizard. Oh, thank he you, takes, Nathan. He takes deaf people, yeah. analyzes their brainwaves through the ear, I and see. then creates a hearing system you're in the able dark. to hear brilliantly thank you nathan you're in the dark oh no. you got wearing mask <laughs> <laughs> covid <laughs> why uh, mark why wear a mask? mask covid yeah no there's no covid it's no covid his, his cat, his take cat it off has COVID. you can't breathe your own carbon dioxide it's not <laughs> it's not healthy I was worried about that. Yeah. It, 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 it's not a, hey, That's there's better. Mark Yacon, Hare Krishna. <laughs> Look at you. You're a very beautiful countenance. <laughs> smiling. You're smiling Thank you from so ear much. to ear. People say smiling from ear to ear. That's Hare Krishna. They are bodily Hare conscious. Krishna. You're smiling from the heart outward. All right. Actually, not, not actually, ear to ear. Because your smile doesn't Mark have was, a material origin. You're smiling because you're from the spirit from the spirit, spiritual existence. The Gita. He was telling me yeah, he was telling me I, that he want he wants to get initiated. <laughs> initiated. Yes. I need yeah, a name. He wants to get initiated. He need a I name. Need, I need a name. Starting by M. Starting by M. M. Mahaprabhu. <laughs> yeah, really Mahaprabhu. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. No, oh, it, it is Mahaprabhu. Your, your yeah, you can be, das. you can be if you like that name, have it. Mahaprabhu, mm. Maha. if you like that name, yeah, Maha. You know it, you know Mahaprabhu. How do you, how do you spell it? M A H A -H Prabhu, huh? P R A B H U. Oh. oh boy, no, you're gonna have to say that again. Oh yeah, you have a, Maha M A H A M A H A P R A E R A P R A P R A Yes. Okay. Maha B B H U B H U B H U Yes. Maha Maha Prabhu. 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 Maha Prabh
Yeah. Mahaprabhu. Maha das, and then you Prabhu. add das. It's Prab, P R A B H U. <laughs> Prabhu. <laughs> so you're initiated. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Spe Pro spell it, Prabhu spell means, it, spell Prabhu it again. Means master, Mahaprabhu means great master. Maha is means huge. And spell it again for me, please, Nathan. P R A B H U. Prabhu. Prabhu. And yeah. Maha. No, no. Maha. Maha. M -A -H -A. Maha. 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 Prabhu. Yes. yes. Das. Das? Yes. Das. Yes. What's das? Das means servant. Servant. Das means your servant. servant of Mahaprabhu. Yes. Das means Yabha. what? It means your servant, servant, servant of Mahaprabhu. I'm a servant. Yes. Of Mahaprabhu. Yeah. Mahaprabhu Das. Yes. Yes. That's me. That's you just, you. <laughs> you, you, you channeled it. I, I would think right. what would be a good name for you. Fantastic. Mahaprabhu Das. Yeah. Absolutely excellent. I love it. Thank you so yes. much. Thank you yes. for the initiation. Yeah. I've yes. been waiting so for it. You're, ch chan is, you're chanting? Yeah. You're, are you already chanting? Yes. Nathan gave me uh, the chant beads. Chant beads. Oh. Can you what chant once? Can you chant once, Mo? Hare Krishna, Ma Hare Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama. No, no, it's Ram. not good. It's no not good. good. Let me no chant good. with you. It's a little more complicated. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Amen. It's very symmetrical. You got Thank that? Thank you. Got it. So you have read the Bhagavad Gita already? Yes, I've been uh, once in a while opening up and looking inside. Takes Not time reading. for me. He has, too much he has Prabhupada's Gita. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> At the start, you, you will make progress more and more. Uh, Where are you time. from? What, what town are you from? I live in Los Angeles. I see. There's a nice sample there. I, I was born in Brooklyn, New York. Oh. My country, mother my Brooklyn mother is country. from my mother is from Rome, Italy. I see, Rome. My father is from Sicily. Uh -huh. I see. I'm the only one in the family born in the United States. But did oh. you see the devotees in New in Brooklyn? Did you no, I, I no, I the, the first uh, connection or the first introduction I had to them was at UCLA in the early eighties. They used to I sell uh, they used to sell um, oatmeal raisin cookies in the I quadrant. See. Yes, that was my first exposure to them. Mukunda, I remember his name was Mukunda. Oh. But you have, you have been to the temples a lot. You have been to the temples. I haven't been to the temple as of yet. Oh, I see. So I'm, a green, I'm a greenhorn, neophyte. <laughs> I'm a oh, baby. The temple right. isn't open. The, the, the supreme, mm -hmm. the supreme all-powerful Lord COVID-19 has closed Krishna's temple. Uh -oh. So hmm. it gives you an idea about who is more powerful, the faith of the devotee or COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Lord COVID is very powerful to the person there. That's why we're having these meetings on Zoom to create the power in the individual so that they will be able to counteract the fear of the virus so that they will be able to uh, lead the humanity in chanting <coughs> during the virus, not just hiding from the virus. Who's speaking? I think it's Ramachandra. Children, no? 
Oh, it's a woman. Maybe we should have a woman, your Rupa Manjari, maybe, on the, on the meeting. Oh. Uh, now, now it's all men. Not, not quite yet. To, not quite yet. We have to, we have to progress some more. She's, okay. She's coming out of a. Uh, she went through a lot of deep Problem. psychological tra trauma. <laughs> And she's recovering. so she needs to recover for some time before she can join us. Okay. But the so, best recovery for her is I will work closely with her on how to mm -hmm. create the structure for Varnashram cow protections. Mm -hmm. she, so many. She doesn't like Brahmin cow. She likes Desi cow protection because. Mm -hmm. Apparently, in yeah. Sanskrit or Hindi or whatever language Desi is, it means home. Desi means, she said, means home. I don't know what it means. But the Desi Cow Project is the project that she wants to do. And she has a mm -hmm. boyfriend who is an attorney mm -hmm. and he can raise money to get land oh. somewhere in. California or in in Hawaii, something like that. But I pointed out to her: if you get cows and go there to take care of them, you won't be you won't be able to survive. I was raised on a farm with goats, eighteen goats. Many of them needed to be milked twice a day. Mm -hmm. uh, and how do you do that? You know, I mean, that means you become essentially a slave incapable mm. of having a moment to think. So do the thinking first, then get the cows. Sure, that's be plan. And I think that build the structure, you know, if you want, if you want to, if you want people to join you, my dad's view was every endeavor requires roof space. In other words, if you have roof space, you can do whatever you like. You can people will come because they will come under your roof. Roof so space. Roof. Yes. R O O F space. Okay, gotcha. Accommodation. Got Meaning uh -huh. like a a tent. Well, I like to give the example that Iskan with Prabhupada was like a circus tent, and then afterwards they collapsed and the main pole came down. Everybody's crawling around under the cloth saying, oh, this is so blissful. This is so nice. But there's no circus. Nothing's going on. It's just people crawling under the circus tent because it collapsed. Our job is to take the main pole and put it back up again. Then we'll have the space. And the Prabhupada's astrologer, or one astrologer some many years ago, said that Prabhupada, he said about Prabhupada, he will build a house in which the whole world can live. So, gentlemen and gentlemen, I, I suggest and I request also of myself and everyone that we make that house in which the whole world can live. That's why I'm talking about 10,000 years, taking birth, taking, becoming more and more advanced, and we'll really get to know it over 10,000 years. We will all become very close friends, obviously, because we'll keep on associating with each other birth after birth until it's perfectional. We'll all become Uttama Adhikaris in the end. We can. But we can't go back to Godhead just because I want to die and go back to Godhead because I'm sick of this world. That doesn't qualify you to go back to Godhead. Going back to the Godhead means you must develop first pure, unalloyed love of God. And we have the means by chanting Hare Krishna, pure, unalloyed love of God. Unalloyed. So without pure, unalloyed love of God, we're not going to go back to Why God. join the meeting? Huh? Yes? Hello? Yes. No, I was talking to Nishinga. 
uh, oh, you want to join. He? Yes. Mark? I'm just, Mark I just sent him the Mark link. Is muted and Ramachandra is muted. For whatever reason. So in the meantime... Go ahead. Any questions for me? I was looking at, at the four divisions in the Bhaktivedanta Veda base. It comes up uh, 440 times. Four divisions. I looked it up. So what in this way... Explain four, what is 440 four of what? The word four and divisions. Is, the word four the divisions. Barna? Barna? Yes. Yes. The four divisions. I just typed in... Four divisions. That's it. Okay. So Prabhupada, uh, Prabhupada is saying, therefore the society must be divided into four divisions. Chatur Varnam, Maya Shishtam, Guna Karma, Vibhagasha. So I look up four divisions. So Prabhupada is commenting uh, at least 440 times on four divisions. The Brahminical, the Kshatriya, the Vaisha, um, shudra class. So he's a... Uh, the, the glorious Shudra Prabhu. Not yes. shudra. Join on WhatsApp. Da. Oh. Shudra Ch must be Ch seen Ch as there. glorious. Because without right. the Shudra, no. the whole project will fail. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Let's see what, what the Shudra Prabhupada say. Shri there Shudra should... Ji. Yes. There is... So Prabhupada says they should they should also work just like Brahmins. The Kshatriya, they should work just like Kshatriya because there will be some violence. Shat. So one who defends or protects from injury, that person should be there in the society, Kshatriya. So on this basis, the society must be divided. But at the present moment, because everything is lost, now simply Shudras are there. Therefore, the common medicine is prescribed. Because then Prabhupada gives Harinam, Harinam, Ekevalam, Kalonas. So the common medicine, because the idea is how to become Kama Raga Vrajata. Kama Raga Vrajata. This is real knowledge. Everyone is lusty. He wants to satisfy his senses. The example I've repeated, repeatedly given to you that the senses should be engaged for the satisfaction of the Supreme. So that's one excerpt of four varners, uh, four four divisions. <coughs> it's amazing. And then Srila Prabhupada says, just like we are sannyasi, this is called the renounced order of life. And in the Vedic system, there are four divisions of social order, brahmachari, grihastha, vanaprastha, and sannyas. Brahmachari means from the very beginning or from five years Two, 25 years, one has to live in the house of the spiritual master for being trained up. That is called brahmachari. Uh, and after one has full training, then he comes home and he gets himself married. That is called a grihasta, household life. Then after the age of 50 years, he leaves. He gives up family, not exactly gives up family connection, just tries to remain aloof from the family. So the husband and wife, they are entrusting the whole thing to the grown-up boys. They go out of home and travel in so many places. And after traveling, say, for six months, again, they come home for the rema remains of one month, remains home for one month, and then again goes away. That is called Vana Prasta. Then... When the man is completely detached from family affection, he takes sannyas. That is called sannyas. We have no connection with family. Okay. That's a ni nice life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a nice life. Right. It's, it's called the progressive values of life. Progressive because values of life. Yeah. Because he, he, he comes... From the brahmachari to the grihasta is a whole developmental stage. Grihasta, meaning householder, married man, he builds his enterprise, farm, or business, or whatever it is, and works at that. And then 
when the Vanaprastha, he relinquishes it and lets his kids take over the enterprise, whatever their business or farm or whatever it is. And when they take over that, uh, then the, he is free to travel with his wife to holy places and things like that. Then the wife comes back and becomes the matriarch and he takes sannyas and has no further connection with any of his family members. And because his purpose at that stage is twofold. One is spiritual perfection for himself and the other is uh, helping others advance. In the time Prabhupada describes in the Vedic times, you know, even hundreds of years ago, 500 or more years ago, but to speak of thousands, a sannyasi would be wa walking around, or sannyasis would be walking around. A householder having cooked dinner, never just cooks for himself and his family, he, or the wife, not just for the house and family, but also he goes to the door and cries out with his top of his voice, are there any hungry men? Are there any hungry men? And he's not inviting homeless alcoholics or drug addicts nowadays. That's who would be coming. But in those days, it was sannyasis. So a sannyasi can eat berries in the forest, he can eat mangoes from the tree, he can eat whatever there is. But when they cry out, is there any hungry man, the sannyasi goes to that house and can sit down with the family and eat. Now the sannyasi sitting down with the family and eating, uh, he also shares austerity, purity, Krishna Kata, meaning Krishna's pastimes, he is discussing everything from the point of view of renunciation, which means giving up. In renunciation, it means embracing Krishna's, the path to Krishna. It appears to others that you've given up, but you're not giving up. You're embracing service to Krishna. So it was said that in those days, he may come, is there any hungry man? He can come for dinner, but he can also stay three nights but not longer. And, you know, they let him sleep on the couch or, or wherever he sleeps. And after the three days, he must leave. Otherwise, he just becomes another soggy householder again. You know, and so he, he, during those three days, he enlightens the family with Krishna Katha, knowledge about Krishna. And this, because he's a sannyasi, Chunks of that kata are so are realized, not just quotes from books, but his own realizations that he has had. And so the family, which is stuck in the diaper changes and, and cooking and working hard and washing pots and getting caught up in the horizontal existence that householder life typically leads to, they become stimulated to a higher platform of intelligence. And that is their great fortune to have the sannyasi for three days. And after that time he goes, he may find some other person may invite him or he may stay in the woods for months, who knows. But another sannyasi, he cry out again the next day, is there any hungry man? If there's somebody, he can come and he'll either sit and take prasad and go away or he will come take prasad and stay for three days, one or two or three days, and then enlighten the family. So that's a very nice society. You know, even the renounced man can go into the householder house and enlighten the householders from his platform of spiritual renunciation and knowledge. You like? Hello? That's perfect. That's perfect organization. Yes. The Vedic way. Yes. It will, it will be a gradual process to go to that stage because this society is so degraded. Yes. But ISKCON has so many sannyasis, but they mm. have bank accounts. They have comfortable <laughs> rooms to sleep in. Mm. They're like Grihastas with a, with, a, with, a, with a pole to hold on to. 
So that's not our purpose of sannyasi. The sannyasi should be there to enlighten everyone. And if Krishna consciousness had not, if the GBC had agreed to being elected, and if the temple present, temples were all individually incorporated, a sannyasi could go everywhere. It's called Parabhrajakacharya. Here, there, and everywhere. Parabhrajakacharya. And he can go here and there and everywhere. And wherever he goes, he learns more advanced Krishna consciousness and he delivers advanced Krishna consciousness. And that's a good thing to do for human society. Yeah. And that way the working man, the peasant, the farmer, the craftsman, the businessman, busy, busy, busy trying to make things work out, he can take a little break and hear Krishna Kata from the Parvajakacharya, wandering sannyasi. And if you have a thousand of sannyasis in Los Angeles, imagine all the things they could do if there were devotees all over Los Angeles. Which there would have been if the devotees could have started their own temples and incorporated them individually. Yes, you say. Uh, Prabhupada also said that even Grihastha they should live like sannyas. I mean, they don't have sex like ordinary people, but only for procreation, which is not easy. And then the, the house can be also a temple. They have altar yes. programs and all that. It, it, it must be. If they can afford. And when I was married to Rupa Manjari, uh, and even before, when I was celibate for 10 years, uh, Absolutely, Sullivan, I should add, no loss of semen for 10 years. That uh, during that time, uh, you, you can make your house just like a temple. And then when sure. I was married with Rupa Manjari, we had a bedroom, which was, we, we had a warehouse with two big rooms, a, a, an entryway, which was like a parlor. And then to the left, coming through the front door to the left, was a big bedroom, and we put in beautiful clay tiles on the floor, not not glazed ones, but raw, raw, dark red tiles, Mexican tiles. And then to the right-hand side, we also had a similar room, a little bit bigger than the bedroom, which had our temple in it, where there had many original Iskan paintings and beautiful deities. And we had my deities, which I got in Jagannath Puri from Sudarshan Sahu, who carved them as his initiation ceremony into the um, caste or group or family or society, they call them, that builds the Rathiatrakars. And he ended up giving me his precious personal deities because well, that's another whole story. He saw the picture of 1970 Ralph Theatro on the cover of Back to Godhead. And he had never, you know, this was 1974. He had never imagined. He looks at the picture on Back to Godhead and said, that's a Ralph Theatro car. And I said, yes. But how it can be there? It's amongst trees. Where are these trees? Well, I said, in San Francisco. And he said, oh, how you are having a rock theater car in San Francisco? I said, well, I built it, actually. <laughs> I built it with the help of many, of 30 devotees and three rock theater cars, and we built them. He said, that's a, he was just totally amazed. He couldn't believe that that was the case. So he and I, he was a very husky guy. He was a stone carver. And his body was like stone because he was hammering stone all day long. And it just amazingly, his body was like a rock. And he and I initially, I was buying sculptures from him for a store that we were had for Krishna, for the temple store in Beverly Hills on, on Beverly Drive, a nice store. And so I, I wanted to buy and I was bargaining with him and he wasn't moving an inch. So I've fought, I was fighting with him 
it looked like we were actually going to come to physical blows, uh, fighting, fist, fist fighting, because the intensity of the bargaining was like that. And I didn't hesitate, but at the same time, this guy probably with one punch, he could have sent me into the next, my next body, next birth. I mean, so we were in that ferocious mood. But like anything that happens in a sacred place like Jagannath Puri, between devotees of Lord Jagannath, uh, we stopped for tea. So he made tea and we were talking. That's when he saw the Rath Theatre car. He said, what is that? And Rath Theatre, and so I described how we had Rath Theatre Festival every year in San Francisco. And he was completely blown away. So then after the tea, we went back to bargaining. And our bargaining became twice as fierce, except that he was saying, you must take this for a lower price. And I said, no, I will pay you more because your product is so wonderful and I can sell it for a good profit in America. No, I will pay you more. He said, no, you will not. You will pay less. So our bargaining went into reverse. I, he was screaming at me and I was screaming at him how to, he wanted to make his price lower. I wanted to make his price higher because I had so much respect for him after learning that he built the Real Theatre Cards in Pori, as a team, you know, of society, family. And so um, when we came to a final conclusion, I, he was getting ready. I picked out everything that I was going to buy and he was going to ship it to me in Los Angeles from two shippers that were there in Pori. And um, it's all very interesting how it works. And then um, he had showed me his juggernaut deities that he had carved for the cast to be in the cast to build the Roth Theatre Cars. So at the end of that whole thing, he took the deities in his hands and he came towards me with them and said, please take these deities. I looked at him like he is. I had, you know, we had now such positive fighting. I looked at him with horror and I said, no, how you can ask, offer me this? This is your initiation to build the Roth the Altar cards. I'm not going to take your deity. I cannot take your deities. You carved them with your own hands. You painted them. How can I take them? I cannot take them. And I will not take them. Please just send me my shipment. Here is, and I've given you your money. But no, I do not cheapen our deal by you giving away your heart and your soul to me in the form of your deities, I will not take them. So I started to go out the door, you know, starting moving towards the door. He then pursued me with the deities in his hand and said, no, I want you to take them. You must take them. And I said, please do not do this to me. I will not take them. They're yours. I will honor you forever and remember you forever as having these deities and having carved them. But I will not take them from you ever. So I started moving towards the door and I was getting upset again, you know, I'm moving towards the door and I could not understand the idea that he wanted to give me his deities. It just horrified me. And then as I was just about to go out the door, he turned to me with the deities in his hands, imploring me and said to me, but they want to go with you. They want to go with you. <coughs> and I came and I said, they want to go with me. That changes everything, of course. They want to go with me. He said, how do you know they want to go with me? I know. I know these deities. They want to go with you. And he was practically in tears. This big giant. He wasn't very tall. He wasn't as tall as I am, and I'm not very tall, but my God, was he structured like he, no boxer or wrestler in America or anywhere else, even sumo wrestlers don't come close to him. And he had the deities in his hands and his hands were trembling. His face was melting. His eyes were practically shedding tears. Didn't go that far though. And 
he asked me to take them. So I completely surrendered and I wrapped them up in beautiful Jagannath Puri silk and I brought them with great reverence and care back to America with me and kept them on my own. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's a great story. Well, it's what happens when you encounter wow. people. It, it's part of the kata of Lord Jagannath. It is. Part of Krishna, it's part of Lord Jagannath's way of interfacing, interfering, interacting mm -hmm. with us mortals. Not yes. differently than a Radha Krishna in Vrindavan or something of that sort. That we worship like anything. But these deities, they step out on their own and do what they want. <laughs> Lord Jagannath does whatever he pleases. That's the difference between him and most other deities, all other deities. I have, I have you know, a story. I was story talking for... with the people, with the, secret, the inner sanctum, and they said, you know, when we talk about Lord Jagannath, how we talk, you are always worshiping and everything. We talk, you say, Jagannath, he's, He's so big and fat. All he likes to do is eat. He eats like 50 meals a day. I, that's all he likes to do is eat. He's so lazy. He doesn't move. He just stands there. They talk like that about Lord Krishna, Jagannath. Very different, very different than we experience in our temples. Haribol? Yes. I have yes. a story about Lord Jagannath in Mauritius. Ah, please. Yeah. So one French devotee was there and uh, he said he had a dream about Jagannath. Oh. Uh, do you have a uh, Jagannath deity in Mauritius? The people don't know anything. They just know Lord Shiva. So when he described what does it look like, Lord Jagannath, so the family were he was residing, said, uh, oh, there's something like that in the, in the mandir. We have a look today. So they went and saw a small Jagannath deity, uh, but it was covered with white paint. So Charambuja, the, the devotee said, that, that's, that's Jagannath. And then, and then he, he painted them and then the, the same year we had Jagannath Yatra Festival, the first one. Oh, how wonderful. So how wonderful. that's how, how you said uh, he has special Leela with devotees. Yes. And uh, maybe we will have a big Jagannath temple in Mauritius in one day. Yes. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And so the deity is still worshipped in Mauritius? Yes, I yeah. was there. <laughs> Ah, we, is that uh, the deity is still there? Okay. The de was it the, all three deities or just Jagannath? Yeah, it was all three, but not so big. But now it's painted nicely. And with Jagannath Yatra, uh, we, we have uh, bigger deities now. We have several Rata Yatra uh, uh -huh. each year. How amazing. So you have Rath Yatra cars also? Yeah. The chariots? Yeah, we have that. How did you get them? No, it's not, not like proper uh, Indian style, you know, but it's... Uh, it was a, 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 a sort of platform for taking them on tour. Mm. Uh, but still... I cannot write <laughs> That is very amazing. Nishingalala? Nishingala? Oui, oui. Well, I'm not. I'm, I'm, <laughs> ah. no, I'm your, taking your some. Picture. Pardon? Pena Tozimaza. Well, I'm going to take some. I'm going to take some. Maybe you can, you can tell something about the Jagannath in Mauritius. Uh, yes, I was a small five years old at that time. And uh, mm -hmm. I took part in the in the Jagannath Yatra, and there was a chair competition. It was very mm -hmm. ecstatic, very very ecstatic. All the devotees, 
uh, was doing uh, Gundicha. It was Gundicha. Uh, cleaning. cleaning of the temple. And uh, it was a very, very uh, big program. <laughs> and uh, we had a, a drama also. <laughs> drama. Yeah. And the, my, my Shiksha Guru name was Baram. So he, he took me <laughs> as Prahlad. And he was playing the role of uh, of uh, Hiranyakashipu. <laughs> so he, he took me and, and, and slapped me on the floor, you see? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was it was like, you know, I, I got a shock, but it was not too, that that much. Everyone thought that I was I was uh, wounded, something like that. Mm -hmm. But fortunately I was okay. <laughs> So I remember all these, these days, all these. And now we have a temple built by Prabhu there, uh, Mukta Purush Prabhu. He just uh, left his body. Oh. But a big temple is there in Triyoli. Oh, Jagannath. Uh, oh. No, near the Jagannath Mandir, yeah. Mm. Yeah, he used to uh, do Jagannath uh, Yatra every year. There. In Mauritius. Yes, yeah. a huge temple, Prabhu. Very nice. I don't know if you heard of this Prabhu, <coughs> Mukta Purush. No, I don't think they know. I, I don't know. Haribol. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Yes, Haribol. Haribol? So, but you said there's 10 temples in Mauritius? Three like, main, uh, big, big. Three main, one big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's small. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. The temple doesn't depend on size, of course. Can we put Bhakti pictures on this? Uh, can we put pictures on this meeting? Is it possible? Yeah, you sure. can share your screen at the bottom. You see in the at the bottom in, in the center. You should see the settings. One should say uh, share screen. Yeah. Okay. You see. If it's, if it's okay to do that, you know. Well, yes, why not? Banu, Jai. Hare Krishna. Jai, Banu Prabhu. Jai, Hare Krishna. Banu. Hare Krishna. Banu Prabhu. Welcome. Hare Krishna. Hey, Krishna. Dr. Daniel, are you? Hi, do you know a lot about? Do you know a lot about um, Zoom call technology? Uh, well, is that the inquiry of sharing the screen? Well, like that. But I'm thinking of increasing the technology of the quality of the Zoom calls that we have. Uh, is it possible to get a better program, a bigger program, or equipment, or something of that sort to make it work better? From uh, Ram, Ramachandra is our is our is our boss. He's our he's in charge course. of everything here. Yeah. And uh, maybe by paying by paying uh, something, we will get better service. I, I, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I think there must because I've been on government, the, the state of California government Zoom calls. I've been on U, U, University of California San Francisco Zoom calls. They're incredibly intricate, and mm -hmm. they're very well run. And the host, mm -hmm. in this case Ramachandra, turns on people speaking and turns them off and everything like that. It's it's more sophisticated. I was wondering, uh, Dr. Daniel, if you knew anything about that stuff. Otherwise, we'll just research it ourselves. What do you think? Can't hear. Can't get good sound. Can't hear it. The sound is good. Yeah, you get the another... and the, the number of people. The Zoom calls I'm on in California, I don't want to get caught up in talking about Zoom calls, but the ones I'm on in California, there's maybe 50 people on the screen. Well, I'm on not sure laptop. what the maximum, I'm not sure what the maximum is, like when um, Ramachandra Prabhu has it set up, you know, he's the admin or whatever. I'm not sure the, uh, the orchestration as far as that's concerned. Hold on one well, second, I'm going to I'm going to go um, see. If, I'm going to go ask a question here. Hold on. Okay. So, anyhow, this is all very fantastic. Mm. 
do do we do a kirtan? Do you think? What's your idea? Well, we should keep on going and get all the ducks in a row. <coughs> I want because at my age, I don't, I can't afford to spend a moment unless we are getting the future packaged in such a way that people will be able to study it and live live by it. We we have to create that for for the for the people of the next ten thousand years. You may or yes. may not want to be there part of it. You may or may not even have a choice. Who knows? When you die, how do you know where you're going to be? You could be part of the ten thousand year project that we're su I'm suggesting or the word Prabhupada suggested mm -hmm. said. Or you might be outside of it, but frankly, if you're going to take a birth outside of the 10,000 year project, um, you will be less fortunate than if you take birth inside the 10,000 year project. It's going to be quite a delicious experience for everyone concerned. That we'll all be together, not in our bodies, but in different bodies, but as Jeevas will be all together and we'll recognize one another, not by the physical appearance, oh, that's Bhano, or that's uh, Bhakti Daniel, or that's Ramachandra. It, not like that. We'll recognize one another by the content of our uh, content of our realizations and the type of taste of devotional service that we develop in one lifetime will be carried over into the next lifetime as well. So mm -hmm. we will recognize one another, even if it were in different forms, and you don't recognize the physical appearance, but then you recognize the vibration and the energy of that person. That Prabhuji? Person. Yes. Prabhuji, may I ask yes. one, one small question? Uh, about uh, how, how do you think we can, we can uh, set up something like uh, a global, a global uh, spiritual development uh, program, so that uh, you can fit everything can fit fit in that. Yeah. A, a what, what program? Yeah, a program for like uh, you know different uh, projects and uh, uh, so that uh, all the. All the Vaishnavas and, and non Vaishnavas also can join in. Oh, well, isn't uh, that what we're doing? Yeah, no, I thought uh, <laughs> practically I'm saying. But see, we're talking, uh, we're, we're coming to conclusions, we're becoming yeah. emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually united. But what yeah. we have not yet done is start writing anything down. Mm -hmm. When we start writing things down, that will be the beginning. Like you, you plant a seed from an apple in the fertile ground in the water. Next yes. year, though, a little green sprout comes out. And after that comes the little tree. No fruits. Yes. It keeps growing, growing. When it's 10 feet high, then it begins to show fruit at this, in the summer. Do you think we have... We, in the summer. Do you think so we, we can, can get a, a forum uh, on WhatsApp? So that we can start uh, writing our suggestions and uh, sharing. Sure. Yeah, yep, why not? That's a good idea too. Yeah. So that would be nice. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's uh, a great idea. Devotees, yeah. Many devotees can join that. Join, join that uh, yatra. I don't know. Is that that could be a good idea? Forum on WhatsApp. Yes. Sorry. Wonderful. Yeah. Order? Yeah, what? Yes. On WhatsApp? No. Good. Yes. But the main thing is, we're going to need to start writing very soon. Like, I talked to Rupa Manjari and I gave her the, um, we, we discussed five levels to be writing on. We have to write everything and get it formulated nicely before we get a single cow. How can we get cows and then don't know what to do? We have no, to not, able... not about cows. I'm not talking about cows. I was talking about WhatsApp. 
uh, a WhatsApp yeah. group, a forum, so that we can exchange our ideas and In get right things done. We're doing here. Is this a Balu yeah. talking? Who's no, talking? it's Narendra. 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 Yes. Yeah, no, okay. no, no, it's not me. It, it, it was uh, Nushenga speaking. Atta. So good. I can only see four people, including myself. Yeah, I'm not Narendra. Narendra so it would be nice if we could, if the image could become half an inch by half an inch, then we could have everybody on the same screen. No, mm -hmm. if you if you swipe your screen, you you will see him. You just swipe. Swipe it. right. Yeah. Well. You, put it on, um, you can switch the view as well, Prabhu. You can put it on gallery view. It'll put everything on the same thing. It won't highlight. It'll only show the perimeter highlight when you're speaking. How do you do that? On the side, you're going to see it's going to say view. It's going to be on the top right-hand side. I'm on, a, I'm on the laptop right now. I, I'm not on uh, mobile. Right. But you should, you should find the setting. You should just see a little box that says view. And it'll have little cubes in there. You click this, and it'll switch it from having well, the priority. It says live on live on YouTube. But now, what, what else am I looking for? Now you can see Narendra, maybe. Not Mishinga. Yeah, I'm here. Can you see me? I can't. I was gonna. Ramachandra's got the screen sharing off or whatever. But it's on. Either way, you just need to find the view setting, and you can switch between speaker view or gallery view. Gallery view will show everyone simultaneously. Mm -hmm. where, do I find, where do I find gallery I that view? That setting is on the system, maybe not on the phone. Well, whoever, some, Ramachandra, probably, you, have, you have the Zoom on a mobile, on your phone? Mobile. Yeah. I, um, right mobile. Now, I can see Narn Six Ryan needs to on put it screen. on gallery view. Not well, I don't. I don't see the. I don't think. I don't, I don't think. For gallery. I don't think do you can do phone. gallery view on an iPhone. You cannot oh. do it on a. You, yeah. I, I have oh, a. Okay. Yeah, I have a view that I'm looking at four people. I'm looking at Chidananda Prabhu, uh, Nishinga Daniel. Prabhu, and Bhakta Daniel and myself. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is you can swipe the screen from. Uh, let's see. Uh, Narayan Nar Prabhu can swipe from, uh, let's see, from from right to left, and then it'll swap okay. right to left. See it? I, well, you I know did, yeah. what I have. What I have here is six people simultaneously on the screen in small images. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Um, That's what you want, right? So it's something like a gallery view. Yeah. How, how many? How many people are uh, are on today tonight? Um, let's see. Seven. One, seven. two, eight. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight people. Okay, I've got six of them. Yeah. You can see Nishenga. Daniel Prabhu, how many people can be there on the gallery view? If you I see, see, it on the I see everybody, and I see um, Dr. Andrew and Mark uh, muted. But I saw you people? guys. I see your video. Eight, twelve. It's eight. eight. <laughs> okay. I think so. This is some. This is being spoken from the past. Narendra Shohan is yes. eating always. <laughs> I <laughs> know I'm, I'm just taking breakfast because uh, I'm, okay. I'm sick. <laughs> I have to take breakfast. Yes, you morning a, time. A, you must buy a stand, you know, a stand where the image will be fixed. Okay. So let's carry on, Prabhu Ramachandra. Yeah, okay. we were talking about that. Mm -hmm. We were uh, talking regarding... about that. Mm -hmm. uh, you are saying about a worldwide movement, and definitely. I mean, if you read Prabhupada's hey. letter for management and instructions of how he wanted things set up, individual centers in every town and village, you know, the corporate ISKCON thing is finished. Mm. You know, I yeah, mean, it it's be. not finished. Maybe it's maybe it's going to go on, but 
you know, it's not going to be every town and village with the GBC. So it's mm. up to the, uh, it's up to the individual to, like Prabhupada says, you have to own your own machine. You know, I'm in Sacramento. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you devotees are in Mauritius. So whatever like-minded devotees are there, coordinate amongst each other, and uh, then you know yeah. get something going. You know whatever, you know mission and vision, you guys can come up with, and from the Zoom meetings, you know what I'm doing yes. here locally. Locally, mm -hmm. I'm preaching at the local uh, centers, temples, you know Hindu temples. I distribute yeah. the books. I have programs and invite people. So like that, mm. I'm trying my best. Mm. Yes, we we also doing it uh, in a small way. But uh, <laughs> what I suggested to um, my friend Chitananda was that uh, if if we can have a you know like a, a global holistic uh, association, so. My friend, I have a friend who who wants to do that also, but he's not fully devotee. But uh, he's in the in, in the welfare welfare activities. So he decided to to make a, an association for welfare activities, a holistic oh, welfare activity. Cool. Yes, that that can. I told him then. If we, if we can add the special aspect. So he said, yes, okay, for that. I don't know if that can be, we can use that platform for preaching. Prabhu Narayan? I, I want some question. Yes. You can, can you comment. Me? Yes. Um, can you hear me? Is, no. Yes. Yes. So you say. Can hear you? Oh. Huh? Yes. We can hear you. Oh, you can. I, I was my if my picture doesn't reflect me speaking. I don't think. We can see you. We can see you. Can and hear you. But, but I can't. When I speak, I can't see my face move. Hmm. But we can see you. We can hear you. You can talk. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Prabhu, do you have a laptop, Narayana? Who? You. Do you have a laptop? Uh, uh. WhatsApp account. No, a laptop, a computer, PC. A laptop. I see. You're, so, you're sticking Sir to. Narayana, do you have a laptop? I have a 27 inch iMac. Mm, oh, that's good. This maybe maybe that might be better. I mean, you'll be you'll have to see yeah. where it's at or whatever. But um, I don't know. The mm. other night it wasn't very good. Oh, okay. So you have a reply nope. for Nishinga? I think I want to try to get back to where I was because my everybody looks strange. <laughs> no, this strange. Topic, I hear talking, but the phys physical image doesn't. Doesn't matter. Uh, you know did, what, you, um, did you hear what I said? I don't know I, if the message had gone through. I don't. I don't think it heard anything. No, maybe yeah. Chitanan Prabhu can explain because I already told him about it. Yeah. If you can, if you can uh, put a, uh, you know, speak about it. Yeah. Briefly, you want. You want. Uh, some uh, organization doing uh, social work to go global. Is that so? Uh, social work, like, uh, you know, like uh, as a service also to, mm. to devotees, because there's one devotee who have a home. He, he mm. made a home for all people. At the same time, he's, he's uh, giving them the opportunity to, to serve, uh, to eat prasadam, to have RT, have satsang. So mm. about 15, uh, 15 to 20 people are getting this service out of this, uh, you know, uh, home project. Mm. So like this, uh, we have many organization, NGOs that, get, that could be, you know, could be done like a platform so that we can 
we can uh, preach. Yeah. You get me? Yeah, it's, up, you... it's up to Prabhu to, to reply. Yeah. Prabhu Narayan. I can't see him. What's happening? I think he's, sort, he's sorting out his settings right now. I see. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, when he comes back on, um, we, we should just have, just do one without having to go to YouTube. And so someone can go through the settings and see what's better. You know what I mean? Without wasting the time while we're doing this. Yeah. There's technical issues like at a separate time. Hello. So you see, everybody has got his own uh, view of what how to do things, and uh, Prabhu Narayan has also his view, which, which is okay also to give the mass of people the Mahamantra and Varnashram, Prabhupada's instructions. It will be wonderful, but it, it will take a long time. So gradually we can. Uh, give the message of the Vedic culture according to our means. We cannot do overnight a revolution that Prabhupada wanted. It will take some time. What do you think, everyone? It will take some time. No, but uh, we don't have some time to, uh, I think, uh, we don't have so much time to spend, like, you know, uh, just just thinking about how to do it instead of, of, of thinking only and talking we can have some uh, you know some work practical. going on practical yeah, yeah. as if uh, uh, things that can be done you know, few devotees get together and create an NGO and then uh, do some some preaching work is how I think May, we, we may rent some places also and start like a centers, you know, so that people can come to us. Because if we have to go all over the things, <laughs> all over places, so we take lots of time and energy, resources, etc. Hmm. Well, uh, yeah, all, all these projects was, takes time, money, and manpower. If you have these three things, it will work out. If we don't, it's just a dream, yeah. you know? No, we are doing, uh, you know, actually we are doing something uh, out of our own uh, capacity, but uh, this is limited to our own, you know, <laughs> personal uh, yeah. resources. So if we could That's get why something we have like, to know. yeah. If we know how, what Prabhupada wanted, then no problem. Mm. Like the Koshala, yeah. it, it yeah. could it could include agriculture and all that, but he don't want to hear about that. So what's just keeping cows and oxygenation? That's, that's not it. It's not working. Yeah, we must employ people. Mm -hmm. We have uh, temples being independent. Each individual temple functioning independently and uh, GBC being elected every five years every three You're years. in India where, where are you Banu? South India South India it's you know, South India is very good because they've got main power they got mm -hmm. knowledge what what are you doing there what is it being done hello Banu yeah Prabhu yeah, yes, what, no, what no, are no, you Prabhu. doing after? Banu was going to say something. Are you not sure? Banu? Yeah, can you say know. what's happening there? Okay. So we are waiting for Prabhu Narayan. I'm here. Okay. Hey, so we were talking about uh, different ideas of different people. Everybody has got different. Uh, plans and projects. So, but as so, I said, that, that, no that, idea that's application. It's application. Hopefully, we will start from the point of view <coughs> of channeling 
for representing Krishna's view. Whatever we want to do, it needs to come through the jiva, by, Chris, by Krishna through the jiva. That's what Prabhupada said to Paramatma, make me dance, make me dance like a puppet. Make me dance. So we have to become like a puppet and let Krishna operate through us. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Yes, but at the same time, Prabhuji, don't you think uh, we have to get in, into unity in our endeavors to, uh, to preach? To... That is, isn't it? Unity means for spirit soul. Yeah, unity, I mean, uh, unity in a in service mood, in the service mood, like uh, uh, if you if you say you you want to do a concert or do a program or do a something in collectively, like we see. Yes, that, that's what we're trying to move towards. In other words, we have the bar, the Barnasham system. We have the insufficiency stamp to go on the GBC um, bylaws. We have got the we, we're developing a system for establishing that the GVC will have to prove that what they're doing is authorized, which they cannot do because it isn't authorized. They can't do it. Prabhupada, is, they were given a direct, direction to be elected every three years. And the temples are supposed to be individually incorporated. We went over a letter from Prabhupada to Karandardas uh, his disciple, in which Prabhupada, practically speaking, told what he wanted and hinted at what would happen if we didn't do it. And that's what's happened. So we need to get back to that level of listening to Prabhupada as the spiritual master, not as somebody in the distant past. That's true. He is our spiritual master now. True. Why not? Is his Why? words less potent because he's not sitting in front of us in a body? His oh, words are potent. Mm -hmm. Well, Prabhuji, I, I have just one, one uh, little doubt, not doubt, but uh, about the instruction of Prabhupada. So uh, Prabhupada said that according to time, place, and circumstances, we can change something to uh, for the sake of preaching. So I don't know if that is uh, applicable to uh, to us in a certain degree. Meaning? Meaning that, uh, let's say Prabhupada said that uh, something uh, about, uh, about preaching and uh, like uh, every temple should have their own uh, uh, management. And, uh, you know? Yes. Well, and that's then, how you uh, established. And each temple's yeah. management is independent of every other okay. temple's management. Yeah. It's not under so, a police state like so. GBC. Yes, yeah. but what about if if some devotees think that they can cooperate uh, by by you know by giving help to another uh, another temple or another uh, you know I don't know if that because there's many what? temples that are successful in preaching in doing. Uh, in establishing their, their 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 temple, and they have a good management program, and they you know other places don't have this, and they don't share it. So that <laughs> well, that that is why Prabhupada wanted the temple presidents to elect GBC for three-year terms, so they can go mm -hmm. out a successful temple, a successful temple, they can go out and help them for three years. Mm -hmm. They will go around to all the problem areas in this country yeah. for three years, then they go back to their temple and become temple president again. And another another group of uh, uh, GBC comes for three years. And that way you get fresh thoughts, fresh feeling, fresh blood going, running through the veins. And yeah. it works out like that, okay? This has been changed. This has been well, changed. Yes. Right at the beginning, they, changed. They, didn't, they didn't want to do it. They wanted to they control want life, the book. Lifetime. Huh? lifetime membership, lifetime control. Yes, so that is unacceptable. Unacceptable. 
So question, how are we going to influence the GBC to be elected every three years? Oh, uh, what? How are in we going to influence? The GBC must step down in our lifetime. They won't. It's such a nice situation, you know. Then Get money. Present, then we have to present our argument. Supposing we were in a court of law suing the GBC. They will not leave because they're like the mafia. They've taken over. And they are <laughs> ruling with money, with weapons, with everything. They're ruling the temple like that. Now, supposing mm. that we present our case. Then this is going live. GBC will not accept it, but the temple devotees will accept it because it will make sense to them. Yes, this is live. There, there was a case up already. They, they sued the GBC. Long Island, I suppose. Do you know about it? Long Island? Long Island case. A Long Island, yes. I, I was on was the board of billion, Long Island. A billion dollar suit? I have not followed it. Billion? What billion? happened? I don't know what happened. A, well, a, also, um, I don't know. But, but there was a, there was a, the suit the GBC. Yeah, well, they didn't sue the GBC. The GBC sued them. Also, but the, they the said, back. You cannot take the Put temple back. away. It's under GBC authority. And they said, we do not accept that you have authority because you were not elected. So that went on for years, 10 years or something. Sweet. I don't know what happened to the case. I was involved with it. And because I was on the board of directors of the Long Island Temple, Romapod, who is in charge of Chicago and other places, uh, made a resolution and it was passed by the all the GBC that I am now officially excommunicated from this con. And they even told me that I, that they were took away my spiritual name given me by Prabhupada. Ah. Ah. <laughs> well, this is ah. what happens when yeah, people go mad, they do crazy things. Wow. They and they said, they so now you, uh, technically I'm banned. I cannot step into any ISKCON temple. But of course, mm. no ISKCON temple enforces that. I'm always welcome. Okay. <laughs> 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 yes, Prabhuji. Yeah. I, I want to just uh, ask one little question about it. Yes. Uh, Yes, about you know uh, the membership of of, uh, of disciples uh, uh, in the movement. The Should it Is not it be? Narendra? Hello. Yes. Narendra. Narendra? Yes. yes. Yeah. Could you move your camera so that I can camera. see your face? Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Right. Because I can I like to lip read because I'm deaf. Yeah. Yes, good. So, uh, Go ahead. I was asking about uh, how, uh, if uh, we should have been registered as disciples in Iskon. In Iskon, or, or, or as Prabhupada uh, disciples, you know, uh, members of, of Iskon should, should, should have been registered or, and, and acknowledged by, by the government. As, you see, the society. As the government? No, no. Uh, as a, a rules of society, every member could, could has you, a, you, an equal right. Could you adjust your camera so I can see your face? Abu? It's moving too much. You have to be stable. Yeah, I can yeah. see your forehead. Oh, yeah, it's okay. move, move too much. If you can keep it like that, that would be good. Fix it, fix it, fix it. Yes, it, so I was it's saying. Not the way this, it's not the way that nonprofit organization works. The organization is registered with the state of California or the state of any state. They're, the organization is registered, but the management of who's the temple president, who's the member, that's individually taken care of by the individual temples. 
Yes. They don't have to keep a a register. And if they did, I would I wouldn't be in it because they excommunicated me. <laughs> they told me I could no longer yeah. uh, go inside of any ISKCON yeah. temple. One guy said, "Unless you're kicked out of ISKCON, then you know you're still an illusion." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the what, the problem we're, we're, the we're, problem we're is caught up. We're getting caught up in the temporary Maya of people that have not understood that Prabhupada must be followed for the movement to be a success. It's as easy as that. We don't need to worry about the this and the that. We've experienced it. I have, you have, everyone has. We've mm -hmm. gone there, we've run into people that wanted us to think a certain way, and if we didn't think the way they wanted us to think, then they weren't happy with us, or they kick us out like that. That's, that's pointless. We need to yes, speak with maybe. Prabhupada, what he wanted, and then say, like, and if we're going in the court of law, saying GBC has to be elected. Can the GBC establish any reason why they are not elected? Why they disagreed with Prabhupada in his own time to be elected? Oh, they will say, oh, he changed his mind. I said, okay, where did he change his mind? Show me in writing that he changed his mind. Well, maybe but we don't have money. It needs money to sue them. A lot of money. I know. We don't have to sue them. We've got cyberspace on our side. Yeah. What we need to do, all we need to do, is to get the members of the temples to recognize that things are not the way Prabhupada wanted them and that they should be. For their sake. Well, I'm not doing this for Prabhupada's sake. Prabhupada had nothing to gain from creating this God. He could have stayed so in the Why did he come to America? Huh? No in it. He had no reason mm. to come here. Just to help us. Charitable. He came here to help us go back to Godhead. Otherwise, he could have stayed where he was. He didn't need to come to America. Right? So I think, I think Prabhuji, maybe... Uh... About uh, about the the court, a spiritual court for devotees. <laughs> that should should uh, should be down a, again. <laughs> a spiritual court for devotees, uh, for, uh, so that we can we can uh, wash our clothes, to, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, in between us. So could you uh, actually put your head, your face in yes. the picture? You, yeah, you're, so, you're, uh, you're down to your mostly down to your nose. Yeah. <laughs> it's very you hot. You can't here. see that on your screen? No, I don't have a stand and, and, and it's hot here, so so I don't have my t shirt on me. So that's why I'm <laughs> I'm holding it. <laughs> oh, well don't that's worry. Very hot. I have seen very great hot. good human beings before. No <laughs> big deal. <laughs> yes. Besides, if you don't have a t shirt on, what's the harm? It makes you look like a sadhu. <laughs> no problem. No, I, it's just due to respect. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so well, uh, I, if it becomes an I'm issue, I'll take off my T-shirt. <laughs> that should scare everybody. <laughs> naked, the naked show. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, so the Varnashram idea, I think, is a good idea. So that we can, we can. I'm just uh, sharing the idea that that we can, yeah. we can have some. Something like that. But we have to start with the philosophy of it. We have to compile everything Prabhupada said. We have to do a study on it. We have to write a book about to make a practical textbook for how to do Varnashram society. And then we need to make that known. And then we will have classes at get some cows, have classes there and then have classes in schools and universities. People can teach this as an alternative. It's sort of like the problem is we have a problem with meat eaters that want to kill cows and eat them. We have a problem with vegans who don't want to kill cows and want to eliminate cows altogether for, so they aren't there anymore. And then we have vegetarians who are struggling because they're taking milk products that are have like vitamin D from fish oil in them, you see? 
That's so a big those job. three things yeah. we have to be able to address intelligently <laughs> that we have the solution to all of them. Of course, and they will oppose everything we do because yeah. there's so much money in. They, they will sorry? oppose to our plans because uh, their projects bring a lot of money. And money our project what? is. Or, sorry? No, I mean, their, their way of doing things like supermarkets and other things, industry. Oh, yeah. We're trying not to, but oppose. our whole goal, we're not trying to create milk products to sell in a store, right? What we're trying to do is create a human society with the cow as the mother. So yeah, we're we can talking do it about in having varnas and ashramas on a piece of land with cows. But the cows are managed by the Vaishas, and everything that comes from the Vaishas goes to the Brahmins to be distributed to everyone on the basis of need. No money required, no buying, no selling. It's the only way it will yes. work. We're, we're are you, are you in saying? Period of history, which is very bad right now. And Probably. it will be, in a few years, there are going to be thousands of people living in the streets. Yes. Yes, Prabhuji, I, I want to ask uh, if, if uh, what you are saying uh, can be done like uh, a, enterprise, a devotee's Who? enterprise system. Who's talking? It's uh, Narendra. Oh, okay. I don't have your picture anymore. So what are you saying again? I'm saying that uh, the idea of uh, devotee's enterprise that can, uh, that can, I would say, um, support, support the projects, like Varnashram projects, a, a platform the projects for- The projects will uh, support themselves. Hmm? The projects will yeah. support themselves. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, the, the, there may be devotees who have expertise in, in different, uh, different, uh, you know, Making different things. In, in, in other words, you're saying, what about creating an outside income source for the cow projects? Like spiritual industry. <laughs> huh? Like we, <laughs> you know, like people, uh, devotees are taking uh, children's are taking uh, snacks that made by by. What? There are many animal uh, products in it. So if devotees could, uh, we could produce products and, and offer it and put it on the, uh, you know, in the market. So we could do that, that be... but the Varnashram society cannot do that. I see. We can't sell anything because we don't touch money. Don't need to touch money. The money is no longer required in Varnashram Dharma. But how how do you think we can we can uh, you know like uh, how where to get the resources from? The resources mean like where do we get the cows? Mm. I mean, yeah, where to get you, the cows, the land? Well, the... You need two things: cows and and land. Everything else, if you get the correct land, it will have water on it. And if you get the cows, yes, that's a problem initially, but like my former wife, Rupa Manjari, she has contacts in India for Desi cows. Her boyfriend, who's an attorney, is trying to organize people to come up with a, about a million dollars to import the cows and buy some land. And so there will always be people that want to see this happen. That's why it needs to be an educational program where people are studying the alternative for the future of the human race is the topic of our Nashram Dharma. Just because we only have a couple of places with 5,000, 4,000, 10,000 acres each doesn't mean that it's, that's the end of it. It's a model by which humanity can live. Remember, the purpose of the Varnashram is to, is to feed the Shudras. 
the, the society is built like this, pyramid. All the bot bottom is Shudras. Tiny little bit at the top is Brahmins. So the idea is, how do we feed humanity? And humanity, the majority of humanity is Shudras. And then the, what we do is we don't just feed them like, like in a charity, they work. And in exchange for their work, they are given their place to live, the clothes to wear, the food to eat from the prasadam coming from the Jagannath temple in the center of the community. Do you mean and the Bhartas? Hello? Sorry, huh? uh, sorry to, to interrupt you. Do you think, uh, do you, are you saying like uh, the barter system? Like the barter system was there? No, 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 no bartering. You give everything to the Brahmins. Everything. To the deity, to Krishna. The Brahmins are simply servants of Krishna. You bring everything to the temple and give it to the deity. No bartering required. Then anybody right. needs something, they get it from the temple. That's the way Jagannath Puri did in the past. Is it practical today in today's life? I don't know. I, in this Why age. Why not? <laughs> it's happening people, in Jagannath Puri. People, if people only need money for one purpose, and the purpose of money is to buy something. Mm -hmm. But if everything you need is provided, why do you need to buy? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, uh, but but I, I think on the security uh, aspect, you know, like people like to be in a, in a place where there is some security for them. The you security see? is... Like, they are in their house, no landlord, and no mortgage to the bank. Their house that they have, or cottage that they have, they can live in it. They don't pay. No money required to live in the house. And they will not be possible to evict you, either. If you have the house, if you're a Shudra, say, and you have a house, you don't need money to pay for the house. The house is provided for you. I see. Everything is provided socially. But don't. Yeah. Nobody's making a profit. And you say bartering, that's nice. Bar but bar bartering always ends up with profit making. I've got something you want. You're going to have to give me twice as much as you want to give me to get what you want from me. Then, then you're a capitalist. No need for that. <clears throat> that makes sense. The bartering will bring out the cheating propensity. Exactly. But you can eliminate this cheating propensity by nobody owns anything themselves. Who right. is the owner? Do, do you own anything, Bhakta Daniel? I don't own anything. Because? Everything belongs to Krishna. Krishna is the proprietor of everything. There you go. So you have a society where everything belongs to the deity. And then you give to the deity, then it's distributed this prasadam to the entire community on the basis of need. It has to be free from corruption, obviously. So if we recognize that everything belongs to Krishna, we are off to an extremely good start. When we think everything belongs to the guy who's got the college degree or has the IT talents or anything like that, then we're not in a good ship, good position. That's where we are right now. Everyone is trying to get ahead. Now, <coughs> if you're working, if you are working and making money, well, that's very good. If you're working in IT, you may be sit at a desk and you're making money. That's good. But that's not the future for the Varnashram Dharma. Varnashram Dharma means <coughs> you don't need money <coughs> because you produce things and give them to the deity and the Brahmins who are the servants of the deity, direct servants of the deity, 
distribute these things. Do you think that could work? Jagannath Puri, it worked in Jagannath Puri before the British came. Mm. The British took the land away from the deity and said, that wooden idol is controlling your lives. You should own your own land and you should sell your own crop. So they did. The result was poverty. Because each little guy tries to make some money. Each little guy stores the excess money under his pillow. Each little guy tries to get ahead. Each little guy tries to buy more land. Or he, somebody buys the land for him and he has to pay, pay, pay with his labor and his product to pay for the land that somebody provided for him. But if everything belongs to the deity, as far as the eye can see, well, what's the bad part? It's excellent, no? Now, if you really, really want to have your own bank account, and pay rent or pay a mortgage on your own house and drive your own car, then do it. We're in the right society to do that sort of thing. But if you want to save humanity, or if you say want to feed the shooters and not just the people from IT talents, If you want to save the humanity, you have to create a system where people are not exploiting each other. They're making a profit off of each other. But where everybody works according to his own ability, everybody receives according to his need. In the Jewish culture, there is a eight levels of charity. The first level of charity is that somebody needs, you know, like you see a homeless guy, you hand him a 50 cents or a dollar. That's charity. Second charity would be that you create a place where the homeless guy can go and get a, a, a nice meal for free. And the third level, it's in your name. Bob to Daniel's charitable place. Then the third level charity is Bob to Daniel does it, but he doesn't tell anyone that he's doing it. He just does it and it's, it has no name to it. It doesn't have your name on it. So you're not taking credit. You're just giving because it's a godly thing to do. That's the Jewish philosophy of charity is giving in charity is godly. So then you keep on going up the scale <clears throat> until you come to the highest level is of charity, and that is called takun olam, takun olam, which means literally heal the world. Heal the world. How do you heal the world? You create, and tikkun olam in terms of healing the world means you create a human society in which charity is no longer required. In other words, we create a human society where people are, have everything they need. Yeah. So that's called, in our philosophy, that's called Ram Rajya. In the kingdom of Lord Ram, Ram, Ram everybody worked according to his ability. Everybody got according to his need. And Prabhupada said that the, the Varnashram, Varnashram Cow Protection Program, or the Daiva Varnashram, is spiritual communism. And what is communism? The phrase that defines communism? From each according to his ability to each according to his need. So how, who determines who needs what? Well, that's why we have Brahmins. Brahmins are supposed to know stuff like that. 
And so you give everything to the deity and it's dispensed by the brothers. Yeah. Perfect. Does that make Hebrew? sense? Narana Raya Prabhu, that's Hebrew? Yes. What is Tekun Olam? Yeah. Yes, Hebrew. Mm -hmm. People don't understand that there's Jewish there's three types of Jews, the reformed Jews, which are useless, conservative Jews who have compromised everything, and then the orthodox Jews who tend to be nutcases. But historically, Judaism is very intricately based on living morality, living philosophy, living kindness, living goodness. Everything, mm -hmm. living it, not just believing in it, and no salvation, yeah. uh, die and go to heaven. Living guru? It's, oh, I'm sorry? <laughs> yeah, and well, in Judaism, everyone is supposed, well, the rabbi is supposed to be like the guru. He's supposed yeah. to guide everyone to a higher standard of existence. And when there are problems, the rabbi is supposed to help. So in a village, yeah. the rabbi is considered to be like a guru, the bio, yeah. medium or intermediary, the transparent or semi-transparent via medium to God. Of course, compared to Vaishnava guru, like Prabhupada, pure devotee, and a rabbi, you know, there's no comparison. But in principle, it is a similar idea. <laughs> And the Torah, the scriptures of the Jew, is, is there many, many kind of scriptures or has it been contaminated also? Of course they're contaminated. Mm. They're not even vegetarians. He was talking about the Shastra, the Jewish... Well, some of them were, the Essenes. Jesus came from a, a vegetarian I mean the Torah. Is that, is that the original Torah? Yeah, it's all, it's all like complicated. It's full of good stuff. But it doesn't work for us. There's nothing Judaism can help us except Tikkun Olam. Dharavanasha means heal the world. If you walk into the Dharavanasha place, you will find everyone is living comfortably. Yeah. Everyone can go to the temple and eat sumptuous prasadam cooked in desi cow ghee and nice spices for free, no charge, no donation required. And then you need clothes, you get them from the temple. And you need, really? you have more children, the, the Brahmins will authorize that your house gets made a little bigger to accommodate your bigger family. And how much will this cost? No cash, but it will cost you your life. You have to work. You have to work, yeah. Everyone has to function according, according, according to, to their capacity. ability. But in America, for instance, the goal has always been I want to get to a position where I have the money, I don't have to work, and then I can make other people work for substandard income so that I can have more than I need. Well, I failed to see the good part of that. Actually, the monetary system, the monetary system has changed everything because they just print money out of thin air. And dominate the well, world. Well, that's with another that. problem, isn't it? it used <laughs> it's to be the main problem. Gold. Yeah, it's not back anymore. It's it's a scam. No. The, the Rothschilds changed that. Yeah, it's because a private bank. Well, what happened is, supposing that a king need, wanted to borrow some money from another king, so they'd load bars of gold onto a boat, and the boat would sail across to. Give the money to the, the bars of gold to a king on a different place, a different kingdom. He'd work out some sort of deal. Then pirates come or the boat can sink. And then the gold is gone. Yeah. 
saw the Rothschild family created the concept of a document that would indicate gold. Yeah. Now that later on became cash, like the English pound or the American dollar. Currency as we know it. Huh? Currency as we know it. Yes. The currency as we know it is supposed to be backed with gold. And that's how it was created. The Rothschilds said, why are we driving this gold all around? Let's just give people money in the form of on paper. As long as there is gold to back it up, there's no difference in the spending power between the gold and, or, and the paper. But then it collapsed during the Nixon's administration in America. They decided to switch from gold to the petrodollar backed up by the Saudi Arabians. So the, gold, the dollar ceased to have anything of value holding it up. So they can go to the government that can go to the, uh, what you call it, the, uh, the Federal Reserve and turn a crank and start printing dollar bills yeah. without any gold. No it's gold just either. a question of faith. People have faith in the dollar bill, not knowing it, but nothing's backing it. There's no gold at all backing it. It's a scam. Yeah. It's a scam. Now, and they got rich with it. Our, our Varnashram system is going to be needed very shortly because in about three years, the Chinese are giving up the dollar. Um, the dollar will no longer be the world currency. Uh -huh. Therefore, we can't just print it. The, the dollar, money. the Chinese yuan, is going to be backed with gold. I see. Anyone who buys into the Chinese economic system hmm. will be buying in based on gold. If the United States doesn't have any gold, they will be broke. Mm. They will have to be begging for the Chinese. China has got a lot of gold. Next sure. is India. Yes. So the countries that have gold will suddenly have genuine power. And the people who don't have gold won't have any power. They'll be the slaves of those who have the gold. That's why Bill Gates is buying land with with uh, these fake dollars. That, that could be a huge chunk of land. But I d it would be nice if you could give it to us, and we will create Varnashram communities. I will not Varnashram cow protection there. No, he, want, he wants to kill people. He wants to kill eight, 80 percent of their population. <laughs> Crazy man. With he wants to move people onto the land. No. He wants to kill 80% of the population. What do we do? Vaccine. Bury them on the, what's he doing with the land? He's going to bury them there? He's a, a demon. He don't know what he's doing. <laughs> no, he's, oh, buying, he's, buying up the, he's buying up the farmland on, on, for, for a reason. He's trying to what? For a reason no, it, to, create fa to create famine. To create yeah, exactly. famine for the you're world. Control, you're going to control you know? the land where food can be grown. Same thing with the forest. Oh, you mean they'll get the land and then not grow anything and there won't be any food? Nothing at all, maybe. Mm -hmm. That's what it creates famine and, and that is plan of eliminating a lot of population. That's his goal. Who's so, trying to do that? Isn't that Bill a good reason? Bill Gates. Isn't that not a sufficient reason for us to no, create that, that, Daiva Van Ashram? Because while he's busy doing that to starve everyone, the starving mm. people will come to us and we will show them how to live. But we have to write, to write books. We have to make movies. We, yeah. have, to, we have to demonstrate Buy what land. can be done. We have to get land. We need the we philosophical to basis. How killing the animals is a, damaging to the earth. Becoming vegan yeah. is not going to solve a problem. And vegetarian 
can now be vegetarian with this program because they'll have milk and vegetables, everything produced on this land. That's why Iskon and uh, Bangalore and all that should buy land, as much land as possible while, it, while it's time, it's, while it can be done. Well, they're caught up land, in their land, heads. Land so is- They're doing uh, good work. I'm friends with Madhu Pandit. Yeah. But World Sankirtan will get people in, in by 100,000 at a time into one place. World Sankirtan will have everybody chanting, taking turns chanting the Hare Krishna mantra. Mm. Then on through, through speakers, you know, football in a soccer stadium. Mario and then get we'll power. create the okay. Daiva Ashram because they're going to say, we want to chant, we want to live like this. How can we live like this? He said, Join, prepare yourself to become educated to live on the land under the yeah. instructions of the devotees of Krishna. Mm -hmm. Isn't it simple enough? It's simple. If you can get Madhu Pandit to do that, buy land and create all that we just have World Sankirtan. I'd like to do World Sankirtan in conjunction with Madhu Pandit. He, he's done things, but he does everything from the rich people point of view. Mm -hmm. In other words, that's how he gets his money to do the uh, Akshaya Patra. He gets the yeah. money and then he buys food and distributes it. It's a very good thing to do. It's a big type, good tax write-off for the... Um, they have a good tax write-off for the, for the people who donate the money. It's a very yeah. good thing to do. This con also got great fun, well, fun fundraising good, power. It, it only solves the problem with... The, it, it solves the problem that is already an artificial problem. What is the artificial yeah. problem? Is that the people are need the food in the schools because they don't have enough food at home. Yeah. Right. Why, 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 why do they need? Why do they need food? It, it, even the schools where they go to school, they are showing yeah, you, August education is a slaughterhouse. But you know so why are, it works? Because the kids go to the school. And they cannot bring a lunch because there's no food at home to bring. Mm. So they go home at lunchtime to eat something, what they can, mm. chapati or something like that. And then they stay there. They don't come back to school in the afternoon. Oh, I see. So because they bring these hot meals to the, um, to the school, the school. The, mm -hmm. Patra, the kids suddenly their brain starts working. They have enough protein and they have enough calories in their body to function. Mm -hmm. And then they, yeah, start doing well in they start doing well in school. When they do well in school, then they can go on to college and yeah. do stuff like that. But what's the Is point of, uh, of teaching this bogus teaching that uh, they won't even teaching? get a job? The, the normal academic uh, schools. Because after that, they don't have even a job. They do better than if they didn't have the food. I mean, uh, if, if we want the, the, the Von Ashram, it will have to be a, a, another kind of education. Because well, most of course. Are, it's not going to another, be Indian, Indian pseudo-British public education. India never had that system. They had gurukulas. Yeah, based they, on cows. They had largely spiritual education. And, and people, people learn with uh, on the people land. with PhD, they, they don't have job. They, they don't. Have they job. come to Silicon Valley and work for thirty thousand dollars a year, whereas mm. the American getting that job with like one hundred and fifty thousand a year. Yeah, they want to do that. But the yeah, future is uh, different education, completely different. Yeah, so, well, these are all the layers of problem that the human society is facing right now. 
But ultimately, the human being, like any other animal, mammal, eating, mating, sleeping, defending. So you have to provide a context in which they can do that nicely and not harm each other. Um. So Daiva Vanashra means they can do all of those eating, sleeping, mating, defending on that land and do nothing other than make the life better and better and better, increasingly better for everyone there. Um. The more they act, the more shudras are working, the more shudras there are, and they can expand. They can make beautiful brocade on the saris instead of just cloth. They can, you know, they can expand, expand, expand. The wealth will be, the, the wealth will be measured in the quality of the product, not in the price that it charges in the store, because there will be no charge for the item in the store. There will be no store. The machine. The machine are taken over and stolen the jobs of people more yeah, and more. But, but that's going to be just, the, the, then the robots come and take over the, the, the same factories so people don't have the jobs. Like yeah. President Trump uh, in the United States, President Trump noticed that there were areas where there used to be factories and all the jobs had been sent to China. And all these people, yeah. mostly Mexican and Afro-Americans, had no job. They were desperate. They were living off of less, practically nothing. Yeah. So he made what he called opportunity zones, where he brought in new industry into those same physical areas, got businesses to bring their business there to hire the people that were desperate. So they weren't desperate anymore. If he'd gotten four yeah. more years, it would have been a huge success. It would have turned poverty around on its ear. But they decided to do the opposite, to join with China. And Biden is owned by China. Oh. Mm -hmm. I have a story. He, Biden's, all Biden's bills are paid with Chinese money. I have a story. Yes. Hello? Uh, one, one devotee, one yes, devotee went to, one devotee went to Congo, where people were fighting with each other, killing millions of, of them, yes. brothers. And he created that uh, farm on 10 acres. Yes. The people didn't know that land was a real food provider. Right. And, uh, and he made them work, you know, cultivate the land and soon they were self-sufficient using yes. ox power. His name is Astotara Das, son of uh, Balabhadra. Yes. But because uh, he didn't want to put religion in it, so Krishna is not in the middle. So, he, but it's working. They have food. They have well, food. In principle, did it, it worked. Very, it worked. And uh, the people are not hungry a, anymore. A co-op, a co-op or a collective yeah, it's farm. in a cooperative way. Yes. And uh, this is it, this is a proof that this works. Well, it, and, it's uh, very easy to make that happen. All you have to do is not try to exploit other people. But it didn't you do it as people, an other people, you can make them into slaves and then you sit in a big house and they don't. No, it, it didn't yeah. have this slave master uh, mentality and uh, yes. it, it, Did you see even movie? even wanted even wanted to to take the the tools himself to toil the land but the the, the people yes. say no don't do that <laughs> they treat him like, like a king you know no uh -huh. putting krishna in the center is like insurance so that yes now did you did you see it it was all on a film but did you see the film of what, what he was doing the, the yeah, it's on the film. You yeah. just have to look for working. Give, give me a moment. Working I village or something. I'll be right back. Working village international is called working villages yes. international. So that is an incomplete. You can see even in its incomplete form, it was an improvement for those people. It's Imagine right. what if we did the entire thing properly. 
Does it make sense? True. Yeah. Because then if with we, a, if on we do it, if we, if we did this properly with the mm -hmm. whole Varnashram Dharma going to invite David Diamond Varnashram society, it would be the same and better because they would have an unlimited yeah. ability to expand and to enrich themselves, not with money, but with quality of life. Yeah. In other words, no starvation, no nature. In Mexico, Mexico, see, there's somebody doing a farm, very nicely with proper cows, agriculture. They are happy and the government came and say, you should extend this program all over the country. The name yeah. is Ved The Vedic Way in Mexico, the website, The Vedic Way. So, I mean, what are we saying? We're saying that what Prabhupada said, what, what, Prabhupada, what Prabhupada said works, works. It works. it works. Even if you don't do the whole thing, it works. It works. It works as much as you do it. So just what have... we're talking about is doing a hundred percent. We're talking about doing a hundred percent and they're doing 20% and it's great. 30%. It's fantastic. Right? I don't think it's 20% because you got natural Varnasham there. He's teaching. Well, whatever you have, but they're not allowed to have, have temples. They don't, no, that's so, the so one I was talking about. The one in Mexico, oh. the Mexican farm. He's got Krishna Where is it in the located? Uh, in Mexico. <clears throat> yeah, but Mexico what, is a good place. The website is the Vedic Way. Dot I'm sorry. O. The website for Mexico is is called the Vedic Way. Dot Authentic o. Way. Well, is it devotees? The Vedic Yes, the devotees. The Vedic Way. Dot uh, org. And the, you will see what way, done. D -E -D -I -C? Yes. Yeah. In one in one word. Eh? How do you say it? How do you spell it? The Vedic Way. V E D I C. Oh, the Vedic Way. Yeah. Way. Or, or, yeah, I can look it up. Um, you can see I that. I probably know the people that are doing it. Hmm. <clears throat> and it's gone Hungary also as a farm. They're doing also Where? nicely. In Hungary. Yes. They have a, a farm. They but they're not shop. doing what Prabhupada wanted. What, what is missing? Varnashram for Varnas. Yes, they have. They have the, the guru and the... But they don't have the, the Satya. It says on the web page. It's on the web page. Bhagavad Gita. Classes. House. And they do not use any... They don't use machines? Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, they do use oxides, I suppose. So but this they, website for Hungary... Uh, probably, yes, they have. So I would say they have not really divided Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra. I don't think they have Kshatriya. Do they have Shudra separate from Vaishyas? It's like uh, most Vaishya are helping. And the Guru is Shivaram Swami. Yeah. He, he, he created that. So if you wanted to work you have to do 100%. If you don't want it to work 100%, then do whatever you want to work, whatever you feel like doing. But if mm -hmm. you want to duplicate Prabhupada's desire, it has to be exactly that. Bar but we're not going to follow Mexico. We're not going to follow Hungary. We have to follow Prabhupada and then create for the first time something that works and can be a model for global existence for humanity for the next 10,000 years. So we have to know what's a step-by-step -step, uh, thing to do That's to create. I, yes. And that is what precise. Rupa Manjari is beginning to work on, is to get mm. that philosophy together. I'll talk with her, try to talk with her maybe tomorrow. 
Yeah. And see if she can start doing some expanding on the five stages that we talked about and get it to, because it has to be, before you get a single cow, you have to know what to do from beginning to end. You can't just get a cow and then hope for the best. Where to get the funds? Where to get the, the land? Funds? The land. Well, if, you write, if you write the books, the money will come. I see. If you make a philosophy, a movement, a philosophy, a way of life. You know, in the United States, uh, there were so many communal societies that were created, you know, at yeah. the time of uh, at the time of Thoreau, uh, Emerson, and all those writers, at the time the of the American Revolution, and before the time of the American Revolution, there were co communities, communes, oh, yeah. and they were experimenting really with communal yeah. life. This is communal life, but it's so clearly shown how to make it work. They had no idea how to divide according to Varna. Therefore, none of their societies were sustainable because people you know, are doing fine. They like it. They go there. Their kids are doing okay with it. Their grandchildren don't want to do it anymore. They want to do something else. Yeah. You know? Dr. So Kellogg did that, didn't he? What? Dr. Kellogg, the cornflakes guy. He had he had a commune, uh, uh, a healing like center and everything. They were self sufficient, I believe. Really? Oh. Who is who is? But they were Dr. Kellogg, <laughs> Kellogg cereal. Oh, Kellogg. Uh, Kellogg, Kellogg, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that guy was he was a Seventh Day Adventist, vegetarian the whole lot. Yes, he was amazing. Yeah, and he and he created cornflakes. Yeah, Did you, uh -huh. there's a film. It's called The Road to Wellville about that. I I saw. That's where I learned like just the basic history. I looked up more information later. Yeah. yeah. They still have it. The this community. Uh, Kellogg did that. Also, there this was, was a, in the early 1900s. There's a type of silverware that's sold in Neiman Marcus at very expensive stores called Oneida silverware. That was what they had in the Oneida commune. And they made silverware, and the silverware is still famous. Ah, that was their product. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Is that... Is that... Mahaprabhu Das? Mahaprabhu Das. Is that who's talking? Ah. Yes. So you know the amazing no. Oneida silver. That all, there were so many of them. Hawthorne belonged, Emerson, Thoreau, they all belonged to or were involved with in one way or another communes. They all wanted to see if communal life would work. And yeah. to some degree or another it did. The kibbutz also was some sort of communism. Kibbutz. Yeah, kibbutz. Collective farm. Collective farm. In the desert. Yeah, you see, the communism problem is that it was never uh, they, it was never God-centered communism. Hmm. Atheistic. Yeah, and when it's atheistic, it doesn't work. So Prabhupada created spiritual communism, that is Daivavanashram. Everyone is equal. They're all initiated devotees. You know? So this book must They're be written as, as soon as possible, the book. It's, it's, it, Urgent. How about yeah, Lorna right. So if we if we create that society, uh, the format for it, nothing works. I mean, Karl Marx studied the Ramayan and stuff like that, and he then wrote Das Kapital, which was his idea of how to get around 
the greedy, powerful people who are oppressing the working class. <coughs> he made significant errors in his thinking. But the spirit of it was tikkun olam, how to heal the world. So <clears throat> co-ops co are good, but they have to be God-centered co-ops. So the, the yeah. Daiva Van Ashram is a very sophisticated co-op. And it gets more and more sophisticated the longer it exists. Because to make it work, <clears throat> everything has to work like very <clears throat> excuse me. Everything has <clears throat> everything has to work like very well oiled machinery, you see. Thank you, Mahaprabhu Bas. Yes. Yeah. Ramananda, can you invite me back into the meeting? Ramachandra Prabhu? I see you, Prabhu. You can see me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. You're 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 in. But I don't you're see connect. anybody. You, you're, you're connected. So what you're can online. I do with two people? I may be online, but I don't have any visuals. Swipe. Swipe left to right. It's just a white screen. Mm -hmm. White is good. Yeah. <laughs> white screens matter. Um, <laughs> so, um, Ramachandra, why not simply invite me back in? You're still you're, in the meeting. You're in. You're, you're already in. If you invite me in, I can see you too. I right now I'm just seeing a white screen. Well, oh, uh, did you? Get, I don't know what happened. <laughs> you maybe can invite me or you can't. Can you invite me or not? No, I cannot because I'll have to kick you out. If I kick you out, then you won't be able to get it back in. That's a modern technology for us. You're still, yeah, you're still well, connected, Prabhu. I don't know what happened to your phone. Well, yeah. I got switched over to my screen instead of this. Hello? Now yes, we can hear you. I just lost your video there, but I can still hear you. Okay, you lost the video? There you are. Hare Krishna. Mm -hmm. No, 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 swipe left to right or right to left. See what happens. There you go. Nothing, hap nothing happens. We, we can see a video. I can see a video. Well, I can't see anything. All right. <laughs> well, no visual. It's, it's going to have to be all uh, auditory. There you go. <laughs> Thanks to me. Your, your video is coming through, Narayana Prabhu, but whatever's happening on the phone, it's neither here nor there. It's there. <laughs> Now you're muted. There you go. Now I'm unmuted. Yep, Jai. No visual. It's okay, you can speak. The audio is fine. Shabda is coming. Be patient. Uh. Be patient. <laughs> It'll come back. What's happening? Technical difficulties. There's another format. Has anyone heard of it? It's called Blue Jeans. Nope. Is it better? Uh, oh, I haven't used it, but I know like offices and stuff. Um, oh. Hold on.
Hare Krishna, what's happening? I can't really see, Dr. Daniel. Uh, I'll send it to you. Jai, sounds good. I'll take a look. All right, Krishna. Jai, so, yes, we can hear everyone. Narendra Sohan Prabhu. Mm -hmm. you, got, you got initiated by which guru? Iskan Guru? Gopal Krishna Maharaj. Gopal Krishna Maharaj. Yes. Gopal Krishna Maharaj. Gopal Gopal. Oh, oh, oh okay. I see. Yeah. He came to Sacramento not too long ago. Who? Gopal, Gopal Krishna. Krishna. Did you hear? Vrindavan, uh, I don't know. Any place yeah, Gopal Krishna, we know him. Yeah, yeah. So the disciples you... uh, in Mauritius are, you know, <laughs> they don't, they don't let us. Talk to them. What do you mean, Somebody... the disciples? Yeah, my god brothers are, you know, they, they just lack power. They like to be in the top. So. <laughs> yeah, no, that's huh? No communication, communication going on. Well, the thing is, you have to do your own thing. You know, you can't depend on these iskon people, iskon gurus. Just preach on your own and do an independent thing, and then yeah, but they, and then, they boycott all, all your endeavors. You know, like whatever you're going to do. I I used to. The house program. Why are we Why are we going off into nowhere like we're wandering around in the quicksand? The gurus are kinesthetikaris. They are offering insufficient guidance. If they create a society around themselves, it's not the society that Prabhupada created. So why are we worried about what these, these different gurus are doing when they are not sufficiently, when they're not on a platform that can help anybody in significant ways? Right. Yeah, we don't need to worry about them. They need to worry about themselves because by t initiating so many people, they will have to take the karma of those people into their next life. So it means their next life will be quite miserable, won't it? Yeah, I have some some regrets out there that we, we could be doing some nice service. Amazing how quickly our minds click back into the status quo of a movement that we, none of us can relate to. Yeah. They got the money. Uh -huh. They got the books, BBT, I, <clears throat> everything. <laughs> We've got not much. We have to be off. conscious. Sorry. Yes, please, for please. What's happening? Uh, no. What is there to say? We're going in circles. What do you mean by so circles? Bhaktilada we'll... Beach means vertical, not circles. Uh, yes, but yes. Individual. So we need to be on the level of inspiration. Hmm. Well, not not habit. Our habit is a part of our body mind combination. The body mind combination is what makes us do things that make us have to follow four regulated principles. Body mind. We have to separate the mind from the body. Attach the mind to the soul, myself. I bring my mind to me. And then the body has to go ahead with the four modes of, the, the, with its activity into the three modes of material nature. We don't need to be concerned. As long as the jiva is in the body, the body will be animated. Therefore, we can walk around inside of it. Stated like that in the Gita. The soul is riding on the material energy as though on a machine. Well, when Prabhupada wrote that, I was wondering what sort of machine is he talking about? But 
the machine that he's talking about means an automobile. That's what they used to call them, a machine. So he says, the soul is traveling on the material energy as though in an automobile. So we're in the body, which is like our automobile. Automobiles have no feelings. Automobiles have nothing. But you do have to feed them. You have to give them petrol. You have to uh. give them oil. You have to keep the tires inflated. And yep. you have to... The steering wheel has to steer the front wheels. So uh, what's, that, what's that noise? Yeah, there's a noise. It's not mine. Is that you, Ramachandra? I think... Maybe some I'm fun is when you know the fan. Fan. Ramachandra, try said... muting yourself. Is, is that you making that horrendous noise? No, I'm is muted. It... I'm muted. <laughs> no, there's a Somebody... Okay, someone's making a horrendous noise. Maybe he's working something. Uh, it has stopped now, I think. Hopefully. Before, before somebody was I think hammering. It was <laughs> huh? yeah, yeah, I think it was from, from <laughs> coming from your dam somewhere. <laughs> uh, There's some workers working here. Not for me. Uh, maybe about to Andrew. Huh? I don't know. Some, it's a stop it now. Yeah, I don't hear it. Mine's very clear. Yeah, it's yeah, all clear, clear now. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah, what was you saying? Dr. Andrew is muted right now. Yeah, maybe that's, that's why there's no noise. It's okay, we can carry on. Yeah. Okay. Sorry? No, I'm travailler, but travail le courant que toi là. Ah, that's you. Mm. It was Nefenga then. There was some noise. But it starts yes. stopping now. So. I hope somebody was working in the in the house. Yeah, it's all right now. Mm -hmm. it but, to tell you the truth, for me, it's 11 o'clock at night, 11.07. I have to get up very early tomorrow morning. And perhaps we should close down for tonight and then continue tomorrow night. That, you. That's that fine, Narayan okay? Prabhu. Yes, if devotees want to discuss, uh, you can sign off. If someone wants to discuss something, they can. Uh, what do they want to discuss? So far, we were going in circle. We were going in circles. Yeah. Before closing, Prabhuji, I want to just clear some uh, something because there was a cut of of electricity, so I could not I uh, hear what you say. No, we 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 can send you the recording. Yeah. No, no. Record. If you have something to say, I'll stay on. But what is it you want to discuss? Just one minute. I don't want to take more of your time. Okay. It's about the, the system you was talking that uh, we should work on. Like uh, uh, you was saying that they, we don't we don't need to uh, to worry about uh, how to maintain ourselves and, and etc. About the Varnashram. Okay. Okay, well then go ahead and discuss. Then we can, what you've concluded, we can discuss that tomorrow, okay? Okay. 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 Hare Krishna. Yeah, because Hare Krishna. Go to the program. Hare Krishna. Mahaprabhu. Hare Krishna. Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu Das. Mahaprabhu Das. Thank you so much. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you. Sleep well. Yes. Yeah. Here it's midday. Uh -huh. Mauritius is midday. What part of the world? Mauritius, Africa. Uh, wow. Fantastic. Uh, okay, Prabhu. Yeah. You're, You're welcome. Hare well. Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes, I'm here.
So, yes, go ahead. So uh, the thing is, uh, I want to ask him about uh, how to to do any project. Uh, where is the money? Where are the funds? Without funds, we can't do anything. And he said that he's writing a book. That's what his answer. And how long it, it will take to write a book if we don't want to get funds from that? Oh, you mean books? Uh, you can distribute Shiller Prabhupada's books. Why no. are we waiting on his book? I see. Anyone's yeah, book. for the time being. Yeah. Because the... uh, we have to put things on paper. I mean, every country is different. Like exactly. yourself, you have yeah. to start with a, with a center. I was thinking yesterday, you, you, mm. have you tried go, go fund me? Well, the thing is, the money is there, but you have to show, show them something and collect on that on that, uh, on that basis. You can't just... Uh, yeah. You show that you, uh, you need money to run a center. You total it like one, uh, six months or something. Mm. And then people will send money automatically. Oh yeah, money, I'll, I'll use my own money. This, I'm not concerned about money. Uh, the, the thing is, it's very expensive. Things are here in America here where I am, it's very expensive. So... That's what, GoFundMe can fund you. If you yeah. describe what you want to do. Right. So many right. some devotees is waiting. You don't know what to do with money. <laughs> so you, you can have your center. Yeah. And center is important because you can give prashad classes. Right. You know? I've no, done I'll this do. in Mauritius. Go ahead. No, as, the, yes. as the people grow, become a much larger and larger group. Then yeah. they can create a GoFundMe, something like that. And more funds will yeah, yeah. pour in. But it, well, a center I, is important. It cannot be all virtual. Right, right. Yeah, so I was saying the idea of, uh, of, of raising funds uh, on, on a welfare ground, like a welfare program, you know, like... Uh, yeah, all this, people... you have to be registered. You have to be registered and collect funds. Yes, yes, of course. So what's, are we not... Uh, do we not agree to register something? No, not on international for now. We're mm. not ready. But locally, you can do it. I have done yeah, it. Yeah, why not locally? Yeah, everything has to be locally arranged. Preaching can be done globally, yeah. meaning that we can preach online mm. and we can have suggestions like Chidananda Prabhu suggesting about the center, then uh, yeah. Dhanu Prabhu suggesting about you know, uh, about the golf and how to start. So that can be done immediately, but you know, the local yeah. people have to do the preaching. Local people have to do yeah. the legwork. Local people. Yeah. Of course. I mean, uh, uh -huh. You have to show something. You have to show yeah. that you are doing something. Yeah. 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 So, right. right. And what, I don't know about the other members, what are the projects? Do they have any questions? Yeah, the welfare project, I think it's probably, uh, you can do that in America too, but that, that would be done through a center by Prashad and distribution. You can do that yeah. and, and then give them free books and tell them to yes, they can yes. come here also. They must hear you for, know, you know, 30 minutes, you know, what to, they, you know 45. Uh, go ahead. The Prabhupada yeah. Nugas of Singapore, mm -hmm. they got a, a center like you want to have and mm -hmm. They make it uh, uh, money, money bringing, you know. During the day, it was a restaurant. Mm -hmm. so a restaurant means a lot of uh, income. And at night, it's, it, you, you can preach. So that's another idea. And it's working like that in Singapore. Right. What, yeah. What, what's your idea? What's, uh, I was your... thinking that, yes, too. If uh, we can have a pressure distribution, and then people people give whatever they have. We don't sell anything. You know, we can have uh, anything uh, uh, given to to them, and then they give a little donation or whatever. Yeah, mm. why not? Good, sir. Good idea. Mm. Yeah, we don't have. Uh, we don't want to sell things five times the price just to get more money. Yeah. It's good pretty. This is 
this is a good uh, way to to maintain or to develop mm. something yeah and people will give donations i think you're doing a good job yeah you one, one, will give. one one musician did that in france resto du coeur give free food not no donation to give an, at all mm. and the uh, big singers the big artists they just do concerts to finance his restaurant. From one restaurant, he, he grew about, I don't know, maybe 100 restaurants. This yeah. is how things are done. What yeah. we can it's do so is, uh, what, what's our plan of action? We can get, on a, get, it, get it written down on a paper. We can sell original proper of books and we can tell them about the project and get a yeah. donation for it. Yeah. I think I think a, a registered NGO would be nice. A registered yeah. NGO uh, that yeah. can deal with all like uh, activities. Ramachandra uh, can... already got uh, his, his NGO. Don't worry about him. No, is it so... international or? No, no, no you have to go not... on local. It okay, has okay. to be done out locally, local. Prabhu. Nothing can be yeah, done internationally. Okay. Internationally, yeah. we can coordinate together, meaning that preaching philosophy yeah. and trying yeah. to get new people on the same uh, level or or, yeah. or the same picture. But okay, we're yeah, doing like this and like that, they some... can participate. Yeah. Uh, but I, I mean, don't know, for... Ramachandra. Yes, Prabhu, go ahead. If, if the COVID situation allows you to open a restaurant or is it difficult? No, no, no nothing can, right now, It's nothing oh, can happen. Sure. Yeah. So that, that's different. Yeah, right now, the only thing you can do is plan. You can plan for the future, mm -hmm. you know, get yourself yeah. fixed up philosophy, understand yeah. from all angles, and then, you know, put out the information. If people are interested, oh, yeah. they can, like that. So here in Mauritius, that, uh, sorry, Prabhu. Uh, in ahead, Mauritius, please. when there was COVID uh, lockdown, uh, uh, there, were, there were some NGOs distributing food, free food. Okay. And they was getting they was getting grant from government to do that. So oh yeah, oh yeah, I see what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, this uh, this homeless shelters and stuff. These places in America are shelters for food and people mm -hmm. who don't have jobs and stuff. So they can come eat for free. And if they follow oh. some basic principles of cleanliness, distancing, yes. you you can have it. But you know, it's a uh, it's like how much. Uh, you know, it can it's become a, a problem. But yeah, it's a different thing altogether. Generally, if you're giving free food, the government will not try to mess with you. You know, yeah. if you're doing oh, yes. business and stuff like that, then, the, you know, like restaurants yeah, sure. and stuff, you know, they mm. will be like, you, you, you close. But if you're giving food to the public like that, it's probably will be okay. That's was my point. If we could, we can organize something like that in 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 collaboration with uh, with people who are in in these sectors, and then they can they can uh, like uh, support us in there. Yeah, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. the support is there. You have to do something wonderful. <laughs> yes, that's it. You might not have the money, but you know it, you have to t plan accordingly and do according to your capacity, you know. Act then locally, think, think yeah. globally. Yes, that's it. Chidana Prabhu mm -hmm. act locally, think globally. Globally, we can have our, our <laughs> Itagoshis and our philosophical discussions and mm -hmm. uh, like this. No, but, but uh, I was thinking, ahead. I was thinking maybe we can, we can have a group of devotees get together and, uh, and start something. And then uh, we can link with uh, other NGOs that are in the same, uh, uh, have the same objectives. Why not? Yeah. There's no, mm -hmm. there's no fault in that. Why not? I'm, I, I, I'm in Sacramento. So anyone from Mauritius coming to Sacramento who, who has a similar belief, they believe in the system that what we're doing. They think I'm somewhat credible in what I'm doing they know this guy is not a cheater or something, they can come and stay at my place and, you know, yeah. and help, assist, or come for a visit, whatever, you know. I believe, in, 
I believe in team teamwork. <laughs> yeah. uh, teamwork is better than you go alone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because, so, yeah. if anyone wants to come, anyone from Mauritius who is you know favorable to our our vision and our mission, why not come stay here? And then you know you're coming for a visit. Why not come Thank visit you. here? You know, no planes. There's no planes <laughs> for that time. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just saying. You know. That right yeah. now, or, or or in the future, what's the difficulty? Yeah. So, in the future, there's a place here where you can come, you can stay, you know, sure. and and then preach, and then whatever, what else do you want? <laughs> so, in that way, yeah, my yeah. my place is open. You know, we we'll need flexible. visa. <laughs> yes, we we'll, we will need visa. And then we right, have to get. Right. <laughs> Yeah, we yeah, have to figure yeah. all that out. You know, we have a place already where you can stay. You know, so yeah. what's the difficulty now? Figure out the visa. You know, plan it you out. You can come to Mauritius also. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah. You can. I can come to Mauritius. You can come to California. Yeah. So yeah. They both die. Then this way we oh, can. Yeah. Uh, you know. Sure. Locally we're working, but globally we're coordinating. You know. That's <laughs> right. right. But like I think we, we should ah, get sorry. more devotees involved, more people involved. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, sure, yeah. yeah, it's it's yeah. you know if we can work growing. out because yeah, I have many friends, and mm -hmm. they, they are doing their 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 part. Some have goshala, some have things. Like I got it, Mark. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yes, Hare Krishna. Yes, yes. Hi, uh, for for Ramachandra also, it's it's late at night, isn't it? It's okay, but two children are sleeping, so I can talk. <laughs> no worries. Uh, it's about what midnight at your place? Eleven twenty-one. Oh, that's right. So we have to close, maybe. No, no, today. we don't have to close anything. We can okay. talk. For the next you yes. know, 15 20 minutes but you know yes. I'm, I'm i'm okay so uh, mm. locally well, what i'm doing is uh, like i told you that on the pro with the distributing pro books making these videos and then if yeah. people are interested in in the philosophy pro is the spiritual master shiksha and diksha guru then we can talk if not then you go join iskon forget it mm. <laughs> In this way, you know, they have a place where they can go. Okay, if you're interested in this bogus philosophy, bogus gurus, then you go to Iskon. No problem. Here, I'll give you we that. We don't want to compromise. We don't want to compromise and get in in the name of spirituality and get into any any sort of business. Yes. Yes, that's it. I, you know, I compromised with them for ten years. It got me nowhere. I just wasted my time. And mm -hmm. at last, they tried to stab you in the back and take all the luxury. Oh. <laughs> so and I hear Bang Bangalore. Bangalore is having a big project. Somebody was telling me yesterday in America and yeah. Western coast. Have you, do you know about it? I mean, see, in America, these Indians, they come for jobs. And when they come yeah. for jobs, their jobs are maybe, I don't know, half a million, quarter million. You know, that's how much money they make. So, mm -hmm. These people, they get connected with ISKCON and yeah. the corporations, they give money for nonprofits. So, yes. for example, they get $10,000 and they say, I invested $10,000. The corporation matches that. Sometimes uh, they give, you give 10000 they give 10000 So, mm -hmm. you know, in America, these businesses, they run like this. Fortune 500 companies. So they're matching yeah. donations, they call it. So in this way, I these see. temples, they rack money like anything. You know, so Microsoft, Intel, uh, you know, all these big Fortune 500 companies. If, even you, if you present an expensive project, maybe they will also give to you. See, yeah, the thing is, I can do that, but I don't want to compromise on the philosophy. You know what I'm saying? Not, not, I rather, no, do you do it? We all wait. Oh, yeah. Present, uh, your way. yeah. 
and yeah, but just still, spread the news. Yeah, the thing is, I don't want anything big. Something small, I like see. Prabhupada says. Not you know? small. Yeah, Thought small maybe. Experience. Yeah, small, then, maybe two, three people, four people, five people, four, five families. Mm. Or maybe just by myself. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. It doesn't matter to me, you know. I've been doing this by myself, and it's mm -hmm. it's been working out. And then devotees are helping, you know. So, just a lot of scope for preaching, you know. And there's no, yeah. there's no end. You just have to think outside the box. Yeah. So, Prabhu Narayan was saying we, we were going in circles. Uh, we have to to take his word because uh, maybe we have to do this program on, on the basis of question answers because uh, people and it's today public we were, now. What we were speaking, we weren't going on a clear path. We were spe speaking in circles as we meant. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because Narendra Sohan Prabhu is, I think, from the ISKCON crowd, and it's it's no point in you know uh, trying to uh, compromise with them. It's not never going to work. I mean, yeah. So no, it's never. Gonna... He's not actually doing anything for ISKCON now. Oh, he's not. Okay. He's not. He's being neglected. They don't want him. <laughs> Though he can do nice kirtan classes. Or... Right. So let's see. They kick their own people out. They don't they make enemies. Yeah, he's, he's open yeah. to the idea of uh, doing business, selling things or something like that. Business. Yeah, yeah. Selling he's products the in the name of his con. Well, you selling can do what? it without his con. Mm -hmm. Why does it need to be his con? You know. It, mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have, you can distribute the Prabhupada's books. What else can you do? Uh, you can sell restaurant. sweets. Yeah, Selling it doesn't have to be Iskon. A lot of people, don't, yeah, a lot of people don't like Iskon. Also, they see all the cases. Mm -hmm. Intelligent people, you know, uh, these yeah. third, fourth class people, they'll accept anything. But people who are intelligent, they do their research. So, of course. like these, yeah, so they can see, okay, you know, organized religion, hierarchy, mm -hmm. management system, bogus gurus. <laughs> they so when, they, 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 huh? when they come to your center, they will see there's another mood. So you'll go more and more famous. <laughs> I'm already famous. I see. Yeah, we've got 24,000 <laughs> subscribers, which is not easy. Yeah, 24,000 subscribers and no one likes me here, so, <laughs> so I'm already famous. But subscribers from from all over America or what? All over the world. All over the world. Yeah, so. So you have, if you want to act locally, maybe maybe do a WhatsApp uh, group about mm -hmm. Prabhupada is gone. And then people mm -hmm. say, hey, we have somebody who is leading Prabhupada is gone. And you, you can, uh, because you have to lo act locally. That's what I'm doing. Prabhupada system is everything local men, local devotees, mm -hmm. local management. Yeah. So, and then you get, you get them to cook. What was that about the uh, WhatsApp forum? I didn't understand. Is there a forum in forum thing like that in WhatsApp? Yeah, a forum. You get Prabhupada uh, people locally. And then. Is it a WhatsApp group uh, or a forum? WhatsApp. Speaking? WhatsApp. Group. It's a group. What's same, group? Same idea, people. And then they can discuss and meet also because it's local. Because YouTube is, if it's too international, you can you cannot do much. Right. Should, it? We, um, should we create yes. a group for uh, all the people whom, whom we are getting on the Zoom call? Group? What's a group? Yeah, that'd be nice if someone can coordinate that. Uh, uh, Prabhu, can you do that? That'd be great if you can uh, do that. And then we can share uh, from there. Because I'm also publishing videos on Facebook, on YouTube. Yeah. And, and we can share on small small videos on WhatsApp also. 
so people can see. Has it been okay, yeah. any improvement? There has been improvements since we are together on your feedback. You oh, are yeah, getting comments. A lot. Oh, yeah, lots. Yeah, lots of feedbacks, lots of comments, lots of views. From your, oh, from your YouTube channel. YouTube channel, Facebook, you know, you're sharing Facebook also. Actually. Yeah, you're yeah, sharing, I'm sharing also. also. So, yeah, I'm so sharing it's, also. I mean, you saw that video I made about the, the, the edited Gita and the, uh, no, the original. No, I'm not saying it's recent. Uh, that, no, it's not recent. It's probably a year old. It, it has ten thousand oh, views and and like four hundred and and four hundred plus shares. You know, mm, that's very good. You are very good. So in that way, you know, this book thing is a huge thing. You know, mm. to Ronald Prabhu has created many videos on YouTube about uh, Prabhupada lectures, videos, conversations. Yeah, doing well. Yeah, Not so it, on, yeah, so globally it's working fine. So now locally. Mm. I'm working locally and money's not yeah. a problem, you know. It's just mm -hmm. uh, it's just uh, money is actually a problem, but we don't want to get involved too much. We want to keep it simple. You know, Prabhupada yeah. is the guru, he's the spiritual master, Shiksha Diksha Guru, you should worship the Acharya, mm -hmm. um, in original books. If you have any questions, you can ask openly, mm -hmm. open discussions, no no behind mm -hmm. the deal, you know, deal making, you know. Yeah. You want to be a trustee? Why not? Come on, be a trustee. This is the, uh, you know, this is what is required. You know, this is what I'm doing. Like this. So I, I, I did this for Iskon Mauritius when I came do, from France. Right. They were having financial problem. I said, let's do a membership temple support like mm -hmm. the Christians are doing. Like the Christians are asking 10%, but we didn't put any sum. Mm. So you are working, please give us a part of your income to support the temple. In a few mm. months, it was okay. It all, all, all of our costs was covered. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's no problem. I mean, I, I can go to the Indian temples and ask them for money. That's no problem. Mm. You know, I go oh. to the big, big temples, you know. Every one of yeah, us but, can but, share a part of uh, our income to the moment. Yeah. Just like right. the people in ISKCON, uh, they share, uh, they give donation to the gurus. Right. <laughs> <Come on>. no. <laughs> no, for the temple, it's needed. The gurus are separate. Because the temple has got uh, some expenses, you know, quite some expenses. Yeah. And, uh, People like to support the temple because they come and enjoy in the temple. And well, uh, that's how that's how the Catholic Church and all the other ones, they ask for 10%. Of course, not mm -hmm. everyone give 10%, but some give even more than 10%. Yes, people give 60%, 50%, yeah. A, yeah. Lot of, a lot of money. But unfortunately, they are cheaters. They, mm. they, they buy expensive houses with that. But if you want to do it yeah. properly, it has to be transparent. Transparent yeah. by medium, Prabhupada says, yes. And then yeah. people can, you can show your books, you, you publish your report. That's what I did with the money. And then people right. will give more. And then you have right. a bigger all the time. I right. was a treasurer. It keeps expanding, yeah. Yeah, expanding. I mean, yeah. Vatican yeah. did, Vatican did worse. They just go around the world and with the guns and, and, mm -hmm. and conquer the countries and force people to become Christians. And they took all the prop, they took all the country, all the wealth. No, we're, the, we're, we're gathering people with the same belief system of having Prabhupada, the, Guru, the original is gone, everything mm -hmm. as it is. So people yeah. would be motivated to share their uh, yeah. income. But you must have a project. If you don't uh, have yes. a project, they will not give much more. They will give a small donation. But right. if you say, I'm going to... Right. Yes. If you do a like a $1 million temple, they did this in, in Sweden. Mm -hmm. Somebody somebody mm -hmm. said, you can't stay in that, the house now. You have to go 
So they collected the, for the new property in, in a matter of five months. This is how oh, yeah. things are done. Five months. Do but they had it planned. Isn't the proof? You come to America, we start a temple. Yeah, huh? yeah it's not easy. It's not difficult. Yeah, it's you come difficult. here, you have a place to stay, <laughs> we yeah. start a temple. But let, let's work with the now conditions. Now, right, right. Got, now, got fly. So, but, but you can already prepare a plan for a temple. Right oh, yeah. to the, I can give you the, the architects. They will oh, send, yeah. you, send you the plans. Uh, it can be made in India and shipped to to America. Yeah. Maybe Robert Banu knows about this. Temples can be made years. all sculpted and shipped to very fast construction, beautifully designed. And people will say, wow, we want to be part of that. They will give high, huge donations. Matter of some two, three years, it's, it's there. But they have Sorry. to see what's the plan. And who is leading this project? Not a bogus man. <laughs> you have to be transparent. Yeah. With the technology now, you can have internet. Uh, you're going? No, Mark no, is going? going. No, yes, Mark. Chinandra. Yes. Banu. Mahaprabhu Das. Ramatandra. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Time oh, for me to go to sleep. Okay, bye no bye. Problem. It was a Hare beautiful Krishna. experience. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare, Hare, Krishna. Hare Krishna. All right. Come again. Ma Bring your right. friends. Mahaprabhu Das. Mahaprabhu Das. All right. Thank I've you got so a disciple. Much. All right. <laughs> yeah. Jai Prabhu. Nice man. Mark, Mark Prabhu is Mahaprabhu Das? Yes. Yeah, he, he was saying he wants to be initiated. So okay. it has to be starting with M. So I, I suggested Mahaprabhu. <laughs> okay. But Why of not? course, Ridvik style. <laughs> mm. I'm not Ridvik, but I just suggest as a joke. <laughs> not definitely. No, it's, it's Jai. So, yes, it's, uh, you know, it's a lot of scope for uh, preaching Prabhu. Yeah. immense yes. scope for preaching temple centers every town and village you know and on the global because you scale know the, pro the problem with all the societies everybody mm -hmm. is stealing money that's it in also, they are mm -hmm. a, 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 doing a temple near Mishinga and this man is not qualified to be leader so the temple is taking such a long time to be constructed but if I was, that would be different. <laughs> Maybe I have to, to get a project also. So we conclude, Prabhu. Mm -hmm. I can't hear you. You're, you're muted. Now I said up to you. If you want to conclude, you can. we can conclude. Mm, if we have nothing else to say. I was just making a. Uh, please go. Hello. I'm here. Yes, I'm here. I turned off the, the light. I thought. Huh. I go tried. Ahead. I, I tried the bad the kirtan yesterday, because I wanted to see if everybody could join, but I, I don't think it's possible. Oh it's no! Not one. everyone can join. Yeah, one person can sing, and the rest of the people can be. Bhanu Prabhu, Bhanu Prabhu knows more about that. Bhanu Prabhu, how does it work? We don't Mahaprabhu turn on the videos. No need of turning on the videos while, while doing the kirtan. Mm -hmm. well, when a person okay. leads, uh, we only turn on the mics. If a person leads, and uh, there's, there's an order which uh, comes in the list uh, of the chat, na? the people mm -hmm. you see, na? you make an order, and uh, the, we follow the order. Then it again goes in a circle like that. Understand? One, mm. two, three, four, five. Then again, one. One leads. Yeah. Then two I sings. See. Then three sings. Four, five. I see. Then again, one. One sings the next line. Mm. Uh, the budget. Maybe in more expensive uh, conference. 
people go to mute or some distractions come so that's the thing with live meetings you know generally if they, mm. if, if they go to mute then the next person continues you give it no no next I'm, person in line uh, uh, i was talking about a professional setup so this is as professional as we can get uh, <laughs> because mm. we cannot control the other side you know we can just control yeah. our side like uh, for example now and i'm probably going out of video and syncing and then trying to figure it out you know that is like, yeah yeah uh, it's not this is live really, yeah this is live at the so same live. time at the same time it's nice because it's friendly we are right. not imposing ideas everybody can talk so yes yeah. everyone is because invited. some other mm-hmm. some other conference is just like authoritarian <laughs> they just of talk and it's not yeah, nice. we listen right right yeah we have to keep that friendly mood and of course if somebody is talking too much nonsense we have to decide what to do well, don't yeah, prabhu you have you have all the numbers you, um, you can probably create the group okay yeah i'll send i'll send everyone a message and uh, get all the numbers and okay. make a whatsapp group Mm. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. I've invited some people but I don't think uh, they are they are free. That's okay. I think that's a great idea from WhatsApp. We can share uh, our uh, quotes things and all sure. things. Yeah. Great bro. Propaganda. Propaganda. Yeah. Yeah. and if they like it they can join the zoom meeting or what what, what our our yeah, yeah. agenda is mm-hmm. and then for the group we we will describe what we are going to talk about and yeah uh, chai so prabhus we have to go yes sounds good yes. hari krishna hari krishna hari bol all chai, the